Good afternoon. We are back. Here we go. We've got our uh, major semi-final on the Broad Beach Bulls taking on our minor premiers, Pine Rivers Pirates, who are taking on their first game of the day after they got the rest of, uh, in the first round. But I welcome a very special guest commentator this afternoon who's starting us off uh, while Dojo's off powdering his nose, <laughs> but Mr. Peter Brown. Welcome, Big Brownie. How you going, buddy? Yeah, good, Bakesy. How you doing, mate? Very well. Thank you, mate. Uh, I think we're in for a cracker here. They have uh, they have kicked off, so we'll get you live over to the... Oh, sorry, our sponsors, of course. Uh, major sponsor, Lawn Bowls to you. Um, and our other sponsors, BCIB. have got Paradise Point Bowls Club, Smith & Co. Realty, and, of course, the wonderful club, Musgrave, our finals weekend host, uh, this is our first end, they are uh, off and running. Uh, Clint Bailey looks to be holding shot there. Uh, but on our live stream rink here, we have uh, Ryan Burnett taking on Ryan Best. As, uh, Ryan Burnett's got Jesse Turnbull, Aaron, Andrew Todd, Brendan Wilson, Ryan Burnett versus Clinton Bailey, Barry Lester, Gary Lawson and Ryan Best. So two good mates playing off here. We're in for a cracker, Brown Dog. Indeed, mate. Looks, a few ants looks there. like, uh, yeah... Pretty good uh, game we got on the hands here. Pine been in good form all year. Yes, already having a big win this morning. Yeah, that would have that would have knocked their confidence up confidence up just ni nicely. They um they finished quite early actually. The first one's off the green quite comfortably. After yeah. we were treated to that very uh, close finish in their elimination final this morning with uh, Algis just getting the best of Tweed. So Algis are now taking on Burley over on the other green. Yeah, that was a howler, old Corey. Played that bomb to make a seven with a few ends to go and tied it back up. And then the Algester boys just mucked in and held on. So cut right down to the wire. All right. So this is a little draw down on his backhand here. I think they've got their bowl coming in. So just give that a touch. He'll die around it and get to the second shots. But you get pl I should get plenty of bend with his. Only his ball will run now. Get past his own. It'll be handy finish. Just going to get to it. Yeah, weight wasn't too bad. Yep. Uh, first end of the match, every line. It obviously takes a few ends, everyone will find their feet, but it's a pretty good head to start us off. I've heard the rumours that uh, Rink One at Muzzy's bakes his <laughs> baby. <laughs> you have all the inside info on what's going on here and there. You'll be able to call them good as they're coming into the head. Yeah, well, I can tell you this one's going to do well to get back, unless he's got great weight, but he's just sailing a little. So he's giving himself a chance there. <coughs> Finish is pretty handy. As I said, we've got two great mates, Ryan Bester and Ryan Burnett, up against each other here. So uh, I was chatting to Bester the other day, and he reckons neither of them play well when they play each other. So <laughs> maybe we're not in for a great game. Or maybe the front three will be playing good, but um, I'm sure we're in for a treat here. And in the other rinks, uh, Chris Rosanes has taken on Aaron Tees, and Aaron Houston has taken on Aaron Sheriff. So three good matchups there. As Bester starts to wander down, start releasing soon. Well, it's a fair attempt, yeah, especially fair runs way. through. That's that's not hurting. We'll go easy on the best of seen as he's going to be a pelican soon. So yes, yes, yeah, everyone I'm sure aware that he's recently uh, finished up a broadie and uh, Musgrave Hill is his destination. So we certainly welcome him with open arms. But he's done a great job over in Broadie over the years, and yeah, he's yeah, been amazing too. And what, what they've done does. down there has been phenomenal. A lot of titles have been won, and yeah, yeah it's he's not wrong. All righty, Ryan Best has uh, pushed his out there a little bit. He's not using Taylor Race today, so he'll get a bit of bend, but he's just up and just pushed it through a bit too much. But making sure he gives himself a chance. I think Best's shot will change too much. Turn that ball. Yep, die around it. You might get back to the green for a second. A couple of opportunities there. If he doesn't change this, I'd almost be back and burn her in with his next one. But yeah. again, first ten, it's not always as easy. If it was the 17th, you wouldn't be missing it. But <laughs> and A couple of nice close catches there from Jesse. Yes, yeah. A good first few bowls, I reckon. This looks like a better line here. Bester, how's your run? Might have lost a bit yes. too much, I think. <coughs> He's pulled it up. Yeah, you thought Great about track. chasing it. Great track. All righty, let's see if he uh, tries to correct his weight a little bit or he stays a bit firmer because even if he gets the jacket, might lock on these days. Mm, he wants dead weight for that line. That won't be getting back. 
The old yeah. forehand claims another scalp. He's, he's a rough old hand, that one, yeah. The visitor's Wait, hand. Like visitor's Hamo, hand, yeah. get over at Hamo, you got the visitor's hand. Every, so every hand's the visitor's hand at Hamo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Green actually wasn't too bad there this year. We played on the ditch rink where we had the joy of experience in the visitor's hand, and it's probably one of the kindest I've seen it. Yeah, it's 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 always fair. Like there, it's never... I know they get a little bit of a bad rap sometimes, but... It's always, uh, we were a bit unlucky that it, we were the very first game we were there, so it probably lacked a little bit of speed it got later in the year, but that's the way it falls sometimes. And usually in Premier League, you don't get two cricket greens, because it is quite fresh in the new year. Alrighty, Clint Bailey starting us off here. He looks a bit fair, fair line for his. He gets a little bit of hole with his dark blueies. He looks like a good start. He's getting down, sliding past. Good area. Yeah, always a good spot to miss. As Jesse is silky smooth delivery. Does get him away well. Yeah, he looks fair here. Should chew back nicely. That was his nice weight. weight. Uh, good starter. Young JT making his move to Pine this year after a short stint at Carina, and he was at Hamilton for many, many years before that. Nice young kid, and he can bowl, so. He has a big game. He really set him up here. There, yeah, Clinton. It's a fair, fair nice correction. Shot. That should be shot, you'd think. Two good ones. There's two balls in the game. Jesse just beats his last. A little bit to be wider. Happy. Yeah, wider out of the hand. You're hoping he's a bit quicker then. If he slides past him, two balls. He's done pretty well too. Just don't. Yeah, just lost a little speed. But good way to draw the shot. Just pushed her out there a bit. <coughs> yeah, Barry Lester, another silky smooth delivery. Yeah, he looks to be on a good track here. Like to might expect to get to see a bit of animation out of him today if he if he plays well and the, the balls are going well. So it's always good to see him in full flight. And that's a good start. Yeah, everyone will be up and about. I think the uh, loser out of this gets a second bite tomorrow morning, don't they? Yeah, so whoever loses this um, plays tomorrow morning and the winner will be straight through to our grand final at 1 o'clock or thereabouts. Got through it a bit quicker today and everything started off. Yeah, always a good spot to be in when you get two bites at the cherry. Mm, Baz is on the chase. He likes it. Looks a little bit wide, but he might get down. Here we go. What a shot. Very nice weight. Take a bow. Oh, Bazza. Sorry, yeah. I was just chatting to the chef then. I missed a good shot, clearly. He was on the chase early and he knew it was close. Yep, up and about. Yep. <coughs> As the uh, new lights are starting to take shape out there, look like we're getting good coverage out of them. They're installed uh, this week and second time on. They're first on a Wednesday night for social bowls where they weren't all finished, but we sort of used a combination of old and new and it went really well. So we're expecting big things out of them, but our general manager Wayne Hatchman has done a great job organising all that. Yeah. They do look good. I'll tell you what, just from being out there for the first game, the atmosphere was amazing. The oh, Muzzies have done a really it. good job. I'm not biased, but, yeah, they've done a really good job. At, they've got the barbecue running. People can get something to eat all day. And just the the music and the crowd and just the way that everyone's, the bar staff, everyone's doing their job, and it's really good atmosphere. First time away for, how long was it Helmsvale for? How many uh, years has it been A couple of there? years as well, I think. I think yeah, only two-year so, tenders. Yeah, they did, they did a good job. It's nice to see it at Muzzy and see the turnout and, our just have brought a bus down. They are all up and about, as they would be first year in the finals. Alrighty. Mm. Brendan Wilson, so one or, one or two Not down, maybe one. three, possibly. Looks to be a good area. Yeah, he had a good year last year, Brendan. He's been playing well. Yeah, great shot. What a shot. What a shot. That's brilliant. Chalk it up. Take a bow. Oh, 
Oh, Gary the Legend Lawson looking down as usual and he's fair weight, just a bit wide. Good cider. Yeah, he's I'll back him to correct on that. He's got none left, but <laughs> I would have backed <laughs> him if you had three. Yeah, no, yeah. No, three bowls. Come on, three bowls. I really get a good chance here. Just play the same yeah. bowl. Draw another shot, yeah. get another bowl in the head. It's it's not an easy bowl mm. for Bester to get out, but still another bowl in there would be nice for the Pirates. We weight was good Nailed again. Nailed the weight. The burly Ooh, guys. Like Nuggie's got a shot next door. The burly guys were saying before that Bester started to light it up towards halfway through their game, and the board was pretty close to begin with, and. Him and Teasy, and they all sort of hit their second gear and ran away with it. It'd be good to see if he keeps that form up oh, here. Oh, he looks close. Yeah. How much damage has he got? Probably just got a He's touch of weight to get very back, close. but it's a great effort. Another one past the jack, and it's hard to play that much better. So looks like the next door rink, the bull started off well with a four. It's Teasy's rink. I just see that in the back of the uh, the screen there, the top left corner. Yeah, I was up there having a good look at the first game, and Teasy played a couple of monsters. The boys up front played well, but he really finished it off and yep. put the icing on the cake. As you come to expect oh, from here, it's a great effort here. Oh, he's what a sh yeah. good shot. He probably had more weight than he wanted, but he, yeah. he poked her out there on a nice line. He got plenty of rip back and got to that jack high bowls. Great shot, better than falling short. Great shot. Mm, looked right out of the hand. Hello. Oh, a bit stiff not to get the follow through. Be a couple down by the look of it. <laughs> I wonder if anyone hear that phone in the background. Jonathan's <laughs> <laughs> crazy in here. Where's Wayno? Wayno, if you tuned in, come and help us with this phone, mate. <laughs> oh. Just got there. All righty, so a good two there to Pine. Yeah, so two to Pine to make them two one on two. Jesse is going to get us underway. Jack on its way. Who's your pick, Bakesy? Who's your pick to get through this and get uh, into the finals? Oh, look, well, I've sort of tipped the Bulls to win it. Um, but this could really could be a uh, grand final preview for us. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the Bulls. I think this surface is gonna suit them nicely. And Huey's uh, only ten minutes ago been getting up. He's saying I haven't tipped the Pirates all year, and <laughs> it's worked a treat for him. They've barely lost. So you're welcome, <laughs> Huey. Uh, so I'll stick with it, mate, and I'll I'll keep helping you out and that back against you. And uh, he'll collect his yeah. finders fee out of that. <laughs> so uh. probably get up comfortably. So you're welcome, yeah. mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd have to tip the bulls as well they they always seem to light it up yeah towards the, the right time of the obviously two quality sides but it's always hard to go past brawl beach especially in big games like this it's usually when they're at their best yeah all righty clint bow looks like off to a fair start as much run as you got yeah that's in the mix should be a good game over there too with burley and al just al just will be Flying high after a, um, like I said, after that tight win, and, but, and Burley will be, a, will be a little sore after their morning. But yeah, that, our Jester was year. up and about, weren't they? It was, a, it oh, was electric a shot, the Jesse last few wins. Oh, what a shot. Right on it, what a shot. But yeah, it's going um, <coughs> to be a good battle. If, um, yeah, if, if Algerson can get off to a good start, 
might put Burley under the pump early and oh a good shot here as well good response spike yeah the, the front end for um, our gesture in the last game they, they really were dominating up front and on the turnovers yep toward, especially towards the end Tweed was the skippers were generally down most of the time this goes to show a good front end can do magic. Yep. Good shot here oh, by Toddy. Coming in nice. Brilliant weight. Good shot. What a shot. Leave a hole. Oh, left. oh no, it fell over. <coughs> Probably didn't want to fall there. He gives Barry there that option to arrive with any sort of confidence he likes. Nice tight hand. He's he's in an area That's here. good. Certainly in an area. He's played this well, but he wants something nice. Oh, Just hard, yeah. but... but Bit of a stiff result. Might have cut it back to one. It must look be good hard to, to tell. nearly play the same kind of shot on the other hand now, depending on what happens. But yeah. It was in the area with the first one with a good weight. Oh, good. That front front dark very front dark blue one probably a good meter out so there's plenty of room around here to draw this he's got on a great track just needs to hurry I think looks close yeah Bakes he's hit the button on the head oh, here comes Basil yeah just probably lose it yeah touch of that weight just draw up there with confidence Ooh, he's down. on the trot Try and turn Clinton or beat him, and he's on the he trot. Doesn't look bad. Needs to hurry as well. I think it's this rink will just slowly, slowly drop away in speed as the night goes on. It, it um, it's usually not too bad at holding its pace, but yeah, there was a little bit of drizzle towards the end of the last game for just light drizzle for about probably 20 minutes, half hour, and won't help the guys too much tonight, but. And our, uh, our big mate Kevin Anderson asks uh, what the credentials are of these two skippers. Have uh, any of them won anything of note? Um, not that I know of. I think they won a. Um, I think they won a uh, Sunday morning oh. breakfast pairs once uh, a few years ago now. But uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Oh, I heard they snabbed a seafood day down at Broad Beach a few years ago. Oh yeah, that's maybe what I'm thinking of. Four, four. No, I don't think it was much, but I think so. I'm sure they won something. But yeah, yeah, they go all right. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, Brendan just leaving that one behind a little too. He set up a little Charlie Hello. there. Oh, Best is having a bit of a squeeze. No, he's just full draw down there still. Bit of plenty of room there to Gary for Gary to just draw a good second here and get another one in there. And they might be able to have a look at something. Looks to be a fair sort of an area. All speed now, just humming through a little, but that's not bad. It'd give his first one a chance. Everyone's sort of just been dropping short of it since the lead bowl, so something to give it a chance up there. Oh, here comes Brendan again. Hmm, coming in. Yeah, touch still over. just a touch. It's handy. Certainly a fair effort. <laughs> yeah, pull the cord out of it. Uh, Gazza just overplaying that a little bit again. Finished in a good spot. Never wasted behind. Alrighty. I'm back again. Just <laughs> pull the pull the Plug out of the phones. Hopefully I didn't break that then. Sorry, Wayne, yeah. if I did. A little bit of renovations, in-house renovations. Yeah, it's the other phone now. At least <laughs> that one's not too bad in the other office. Door closed. Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching at home, let us know if you can hear the phone ringing or not. All righty, Berners just got a crash. But he's Ooh. trickled around. Probably had... Might be close to counting there. Good I'm wait sure for what it. they're holding here at... A good weight. It's always hard to tell on the, the camera angle. 
The boys are called too. So you're just, just drawing down here on his forehand still. If he does get to that front Charlie or Barry's, he should turn that up for second. Let's just draw down here with confidence on his forehand. No odds of four and one with the first. Oh, maybe he is. He's got the stance yeah. on. Yeah, fire it with the Might first, open it I up. Thought he pointed, yeah, I thought he Oof. pointed to that wing bowl when he was walking off. Yep. All righty. <coughs> so he must be trying to get the kill off that. Putting the old cowboy boots on early, Mr. Bester, yeah. eh? <laughs> Getting it out of the way Try for yet. Brody before he comes down to Muzzy and needs to tighten it up. No. Love it. No, he's just trying to get a burn on his head. Probably play a shot like that, trying to rattle him early. But if, yeah, you certainly back him. If there's anyone that can do it, it would be him. Uh, Andrew Nuttall says, don't tell Teasy his beloved doggies flog the Titans. And don't worry, the last thing I'll be doing is talking to Teasy about... The Titans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Berno's played a good shot. That's in the count. It's, he might just that fire that pack shot. now. I think that's. Yeah, I that think he gets that Charlie. Front yeah, that even that Charlie gets that blue of now. Sort of fat that up a bit for him. So he can just go straight at that pack now. There's a couple opportunities there. So here we go. He's got something. Yeah, he's oh, oh. Middle it. oh, well, he might have cut it back to one. We'll have a look here. It's in the area, as usual. No, two. two. Could even be a measure for a third. <laughs> Mark Spring says, yes, he was waiting for someone to answer that phone, so they're obviously here in it. It's the back one in the background is still going. Someone is very persistent. We'll have to get someone to get on uh, one of our, one of our uh, many volunteers here to man that phone, I think. Ooh, looks like three bits. Three bits. Was it? Didn't see, sorry. It looks a bit delayed on the iPad there. See, they should back that up on the board pretty quickly and then stand in front of it. <laughs> uh, Jesse move. Um, so, yeah, 4 1 on 3. Fair one, four one for Berno, so it must have just been two. Oh, two. Uh, I can't see they're standing in front of. Uh, eight nil for Teasy after three. Uh, and yeah, I can't see Aaron's yet. They've got a couple in front of them, but good start by Teasy. This will be making a few of the Pirates nervous. Yeah, the thing they want to do is get him going. Their rink was burning in the morning game. Looks like they're... Continuing their form. Oh, send someone out to tell them to stop standing in front of the school boards. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ring the club. Ring the club. Get to send someone out there. Yeah. It's, it's about the spectators. Come on, guys. <laughs> Well, he needs this to hurry a little. He's, he's, you know, willing it along. It's not hurry. too far. It's not uh, too yep. far off. A couple of feet. Uh, Pine River's general manager, Steve Ratcliffe, uh, just wandering in to watch his Pirates. Congratulations to Pine Rivers on their uh, third year in a row getting best bowls club. That's a pretty good effort. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Club is good. You always get looked after when you go up there for a game. Oh, it's, yeah, 5-1 on 3 to the balls on uh, the Aaron drink. So Andrew Todd is close here. He's played oh. a monster. Yep. Great shot. Basil going to do here. Nice backhand draw for him. His backhand. Which should be yeah, the left side of your screen. Nice full draw. For, sit down. Sit the ball. Get a good second. Should be a good area. Yeah, and needs it to hold a little. Yep. Die under it and hang about. Yep. That's a it's fair start. In the game.
Alrighty ho, Hua Hira says, do us a favour guys, don't give the NRL scores, which uh, we won't mate, just that one of my beloved Titans, which generally should be pretty easy to pick anyway, because we don't win too many, so. And Kevin Anderson says, any bowls of Strago logo on Bess's extremely white socks? <laughs> they are very white, aren't they? I thought it was just the top of his ankle there, the bottom of his ankle to start, I didn't realise he was wearing socks. But <laughs> good shot here, good shot here. Best is, good second. He did have a little, one of them little water tattoos on the Bowls Australia logo this morning, but it's rubbed off, he said, so <laughs> it was very pretty. Mm. Right, good shot there. So good, good, good second. Okay, well, well Brendan's going to maybe try this backhand to draw another counter. If he doesn't quite get back, he's still going to finish in a good spot. But I don't really imagine he wants to touch his shot bowl, but... As soon as Gary Lawson gets off the uh, <laughs> line, we can have a look. There we go. Yeah, someone stole him. <laughs> Give us a little wave. Go on your loss, eh? So yeah, Brendan has his, played his backhand. It's a good choice here, I think. Nice confident draw down it's there. Like looks a close, fair, too. Good area. Just got to get down. That's a great oh, shot. It's a good, good start. Home. Good Just home. Just running through, but it's another ball in the head. Another third. Well, Gazza will be trying to play down, beat the last bit tight, get to the red. Yeah, I imagine nice so. Nice shot on the forehand there with a couple of feet away. Nice full draw. Yeah, if he, if he plays it right, he should be able to get back and sit that ball yeah. past the jack. From how it looks on our screen anyway, but even looking out the window there, it looks like it's, it's a nice shot there for him. Just got to be out and up. Don't know. It looks a little... It's a hurry on that line. A little bit of both, yeah. Wind looks like so it's starting to pick up a little bit out there as well. Yeah, he should probably, the probably flags died off just in the break. Blowing and <laughs> well, it doesn't look too bad for how it was earlier. It was like it was howling. So it looks like quite a pleasant evening out there at the moment. Uh, fair area again. Going to hold past the front. Dying down at Jesse's probably not the end of the world here. Give that a turn. Oh, well, oh. Oh, he's oh, unlucky there. Yeah, I think that yeah. gets it perfect. A little bit of a mayday. Just straight in the guts. Give him another shot to play. If you're a bit wide, you give him a wet chance off the wing ones, or you land that. Looks like it's going to go blue. clean as well with no jack. It does. It's like it set up the perfect Charlie, unfortunately. But oh. Still got to get to it first, though. Fairly he looks well to be all right. Here. Yeah. He is close. Hello. Hello. You're not going to get enough of it. Oh, oh. you're kidding. <laughs> Stiff. Mm. I'll be pretty happy about that little misfortune there. Yeah, and it's pushed one of Jesse's bowl over to that wing as well. So it gives him another bowl out there if they do just get the outside half of the shot bowl. Oh, we'll probably see Berno just stick on this backhand with his first, maybe. Or is he going to play down there and try and... Yeah, try and change yeah, it up a little. Oh, no, he's, he's on gone. his back end. He's out there. You get a bit more turn than everyone else with his aces, I think. Yeah. Here it big comes. Big sweep and set. Just his speed more than anything. Another one passed. Not bad. That's the dot for him, anyway. I imagine we'll just see Bester drawing down on this four right now. But like I said, he does have to be careful. You get a little outside touch on the shot bowl. He could... could all of a sudden turn the one into three. Alrighty, here we go. Four hands. Looks to be a, f a little tight. So yeah, it's just a little... But if he dies in there, he could finish in a pretty good home, yeah? Mm, it's just still up. running through. Yeah. Not too bad. Mm. That bowl of berries must be worth four, four or five, or if not six, I'd reckon. Will they look for it? Who's got the spot there? Back out, backhand firm. I get either half of it, you get him. Or forehand, even. This forehand, if you hold for your shot bowl, you're going to kill it. And he did get the dot with his last bowl, but. 
will certainly give uh, Ryan an easier shot for his last. But might just try and draw it. They've got off to a good start. They're up 4 1. So, but, you know, with Aaron T's next door, 8 0, maybe they'll think they have to try and make a few shots early to stick with them. Yeah, the Bulls have shot out of the blocks early. Sometimes the best time to take a risk as well, a bit early, and goes bad. You've got time. Yeah. I'd love to hear what they're saying out there. <laughs> so our general manager just popped in and gave me a little note saying, best to better not get used to playing on rink one. He's not having it, it's mine. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> He's got to be in the middle anyway. But here we go. Is he looking for the... No, nah, just sticking right. with the draw. Thought he might have tried to play it yeah. then, early days. But back himself to just miss the front and tap Tell you the what, he's close. Bit. If he starts oh. chewing, just that touch of speed again. That'll be the right speed in about 45 <coughs> minutes, I reckon. Which dies off and that says that sun keeps going down. Robbie Wiles just walked past and gave us a bit of sign language. So, go on you, Robbie. <laughs> Good have made him on here. Yeah, I think he's still a bit tight. Yeah. Still yeah, poked duck. her out there. Oh, one down. It's not too bad there, really, for for Brody. It could have been a lot worse. So I'll take the one. Gets uh, Ryan Burnett up to 5-1 on four. Aaron Tease is still going strong. 10-0. And Aaron Sheriff just over the top of the other... Aaron, the double A Aaron, with uh, on a five four, oh, got the single eight, single A and the double A Aaron. So battle of the A's here. Should be a good game too. Both got good rinks. Yeah. All righty, just your table looks good again here. Looks good again, all the way. That's a good yeah, start, a JT. Start. Come out far in the lead. Well, the Twenty one ends is a long game, so. It is. Oh, Mitchy Mears out the talking a bit of smack out the back of his rink. Clint Bailey, yeah, fair start. Spot. Yep. In the game. If you got to miss, that's the best spot to miss too. And JT's on a good line again here. If he's up, he can't be can't be bad. He's only got to run. Only got a run. Uh, two good shots, Jesse Turnbull. Yeah, we'll it on. We're a little unlucky, oh. sort of that never right next to him. Probably yeah. wanted another foot there as we look at his reaction, but still, I don't think any skipper would be too unhappy with that. Two good shots. Now, I wonder if Clint will just keep his weight yeah. here and just play much of the same bowl. Just draw up to the pack. He's he just it's overplayed it a little too much, too much, but if you clear a run, it's not the end of the world there. Close to the dot. I see Toddy just try and tuck that jack around the corner or beat the back blue one. Don't forget, guys, keep your comments coming through. Love read them all. That's um, <laughs> it's great weight there. But what has he got there, mate? From Pete Moore. What's he said? Oh. Why don't, Why don't you make some them? red triangle mats out of shade cloth so they don't block the camera? Okay. As we see, Bazzi have a bit of a run there. Got one of them out. Toddy will still be trying to get to that back up. blue one, yeah. yeah well, if he's up, he's pretty handy here wherever he lands now. That's not a pretty good spot to miss. Yeah, that's in the game there. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Maybe just try and draw this off now. Just try and draw the toucher. Get to the bowl, get a good second. Looking like they could be two down, so... He's on his back hand. He, a little oh, bit of... He looks tight aligned. Got the rake out of the shed again. Uh, he looks tight. Gave it a chance, but... We might have just tried to 
He wants to try to draw that off then, but... Oh, our New South Wales State Pairs champion, Brett Spur. He bakes and doge. I'm, I haven't got uh, the doge here at the moment. I've got my good mate, Peter Brown. And uh, Paul Jobson, another champion. Hello, Sean. Is that you, Paul? Is that you? All right, it's a pine holding a couple here. Brendan uh, probably just popped it down. I reckon he might stick on his backhand. Let's try and touch Jesse or slide around him. No. And line Shaping it up, up on, on the forehand. forehand. I think anything but Jack High here on the forehand would be nice. The track looks good. Yeah, it's a tricky Ooh. hand. Oh, he's... All right, we've it's changed it up. Not all bad, not changed all bad. it up. Just got uh, Gary a bit more room, which I reckon this probably suits Gary a little bit. Get him on that back on the wider hand, just drawing shot. Or is he proved mm. me wrong? He looks mm. tight, he doesn't he? Pinched it a little bit. Yeah, a bit of both there, I think. Touch of speed, touch of line, and... You know, Brennan will just be trying to nail this now. I really can't. Oh, see, I would have thought he's stuck in his forehand that time. <laughs> this track looks good. Can't pick him. Looks like he's nailed the line just about. He's got the jack again, oh, has he? Oh, touch no. over. A bit tight. Yeah. <laughs> Hooped at the end, yeah. didn't it? Six points in the UBC. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's dying off, it's still got a good hoop at the end. Uh, that looks like a better area from Gary. Oh, and his speed now. Best is clapping it in. Just lacking a fraction of finish, so. All right, yeah, I think we'll see that'll get uh, Burner back on his forehand. Just drop between the, the shot bowl and the green bowl there. Both of their bowls, any touch on them is obviously not bad. And uh, Clyde Williams says, while watching your excellent commentary this afternoon, I put the number, put the wrong number on the horses. Instead of losing six dollars, he won 190. So happy days, Clive. <laughs> You're spending that at district size, you said. So they get a few beers for the boys. Good way to uh, spend it. Stuck to that back end. I don't think I've called one right shot yet, Brownie. Yeah. Not if it's, not if to you have to go there and, running, and tell the boys what's how to. Play on ring one, mate. All righty. Unfortunately, Gary stood in front of the jack there, but... Yeah, he's had a pretty good run of getting in front of the camera, hasn't he, old Gaz? Might yeah. have to go out and give him a little tickle. <laughs> yeah, um, here we go. A little bit of, um, right in front of it again. Beauty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, no, he's, bester. He's, no, he's nice there. little rub, friendly tickle. Uh, that one, the Brawl Beach. I think he's got at least two. Must look pretty good yeah. for the mat to bury Cut that. Down there on the forehand. Oh, he's pushed it wide. Ooh. Chances, though. Result City now. Oh, he just got Pine Bowl on the Pine Bowl. Oh, Gary. Move out the way, son. All right, so yeah, so still just the one there. Andrew Todd's sparring bowl, second shot, so there's a bit of room there for Besser to draw another one. He's on the charge. Yeah. Looks tightish out the one hand. One looks, yeah. Uh, he's got good weight to do enough here. Weight might just help needs him. To run. Just needs to run. No, not quite. Half a bowl short. Well, that's a handy shot for Brody. Gets yep. him back scoring. I needed that. So that makes it 6 2 on 5. Doubled the score. Let's see, we've got some other scores. Teasy's up 11 0 on 5. And I can't see the third rink yet. Ah, she's all over it. All over it. Yeah. All right, so a bit of, bit of social length here, sort of middle to middle. Couple Everyone's of still feeling each other out. A couple of bombs from Mitchie Muse over there on the rink next door. Oh, yep. He's good for those. He's been playing well, the, the young lad. Uh, 
Alrighty, Clinto with a good starter. Mm. Good area. Yep. Wait, it's in the game. Uh, Jesse Turnbull looks pretty good too, as his speed. Looks pretty yeah, much all looks over good. it. Bang, he's playing well. Yeah, take a bout. He has started, but Lesney's line on weight's been excellent. Uh, that might be asking a bit much for Clint's bowls, I think. I think his weight's been pretty good. He's just, yeah, he's never coming back from out there, but not a mile off. It's in the game. I'll change it up a little bit here. Yeah. Oh. What a shot. Great Jesus. shot. Jesse Turnbull, one heat. Yes. Brad Lawson's played a good one next door, holding three over there. It's easy as rinks on fire, by the look of it. And not a bad area here from Snelly. He's going a little, but a little touch on that will help. Ooh, no, slides to a good spot. spot. Yeah, good nothing wrong with that. <coughs> Track. If he gets around that green one, he's played it perfect. What a Touched shot. Touched the bonus. Yeah, great shot. Great spot there. Well, it's not like he'd just be trying to beat his last year. Draw a good second. If he gets to the shot bowl, he's done his job. Give his team a chance to, to score. What is in a fair yeah, area. He's looking good here. He's just went hard in my idea. Of the result. Oh, oh wow. Well, what a shot. Should definitely make sure a third shot. That one, yep. Uh, just swinging him over this time, just drawing on his back end. Either side of that blue with good weights to call. Probably ideally, though, he's around it and just getting to that wide green one. The angle it's hitting, he can turn that behind the jack nicely. And he's not a mile away if he's releasing. Not quite getting back, but if he's running, yeah, another one passed. I think Lawson's going to follow him down, yeah, turn Clinton's bowl, in the shot bowl, in the wide green was a couple of good opportunities here for him, just to arrive down on his back end. Nice yard of weight. Yeah, nothing too crazy, just making sure he's up. Mm, boys next door mm -hmm. up and about. Uh, Poppy's played a monster. Trying to spark them up a little bit, 11-0 is a, always a rough start, but... Quite often you see those big ones like that. They normally catch them and they end up having a relatively tight game. Yeah. We'll see what will happen. But uh, not a mile off to that wing one here. It gets to that pretty solid. He's fat. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Yeah, one down. So it's give him a good mm. second and just change things up a little bit. Barry's two bowls there. Probably a little bit stiff with that result further in the jack, but we got a good second. I think they go. Uh, he's going to stick with that back end. Try and beat that bowl of barriers, I think. Yeah, get third shot and be another handy catcher. And if he happens to slide past everything, well, it's not hurting as well. So. Could very nearly draw another shot there, too, if he plays it just right. Bit of Kellogg's. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look fair at the hand. Seems yeah, to be good area. He's got good weight. Pretty should, fair. Should come from there. Yep. He's played it Close well. Now. Yeah. What a shot. Oh, oh he doesn't oh. want to fall now. <laughs> <laughs> fall over onto the blue. One down. Hard luck. Yeah, kind of locks their own bowl in a little bit, the Brody bowl. So probably play a little bit more weight now if they want.
Yeah, I think best to just call there to try and get him off. Get him off on the back end. Relatively safe. You don't think he'd get under the shot bolt to flick his own out, but even if he did, you'd think he'd be getting enough of it to get onto that last bowl of Brendan. So on the back end, a little bit of a runner here, or is he maybe just a full draw on his forehand? It's hard to tell by his feet. Yep. Oh, he's yeah, pushed her out a bit wide. Come out of the shoot well, just on the wrong trajectory. Uh, here we go. He's only going to beat his last, hasn't he? Get another good third in there and, and touch wider. Yeah, I think he's. He's trying to swoop now. Here he comes. Oh, he's played that exceptionally That's well. Pretty good. That's a great shot. Two well, crackers. I'll be happy with that one. So green twos lit up nicely. Greens ones lit up nicely. The lights seem to be a success. Happy days. Bit of a panic today, but <laughs> we got there. Oh, tees, he's chasing something. Not sure what's going on over there. Can't see the jack anymore. Jack's right out on the peg. Uh, okay. That looks like Mark's bowl. Right on it. Ooh. Oh, I think he's a bit of two miles here. That's but yeah. worth a couple, that one. Yeah, I like this shot more. Backhand, trying to get the bowl off. He's close to any oh. sort of damage or fatness then. Well, he's, he's opened it up to make it at least a lot more drawable for him with his last, but does also open it up for burner a little bit too, but he's you know he's got to be a little careful. He mm, old, don't old want to be just touching the jack and giving any shots away at this point. Chris just played a cracker on the rink next door, sat their back bowl out for a four, so they're on the board. Okay, and in style too, so eleven four. Yeah, I think they were holding one in the. Uh, I think it was a four, but yeah. Yep, it's on the board. The boys are up and about. Good start. They're going to start gripping soon. This is the only thing I'd worried about. Oh, yep. wow. I'm giving a shot away. But that's, you know, he, he played a good shot. He's just a bit unlucky there, but I, I don't think best to be trying awfully hard with his last. Unless he's, well, he, he's got everything. Oh, no, that's Andrew Todd there, isn't it? So... Yeah, he should be able to draw around Clint Bowl on his forehand without too much danger. Yeah. And I've been there to, um, and even if he has underneath it, he'd be unlucky mm. to sort of flick Jesse's across. But Just needs that good weight and he should be safe. Yeah, poker out there and you can't go wrong really, and he's on a good line. It's all speed now. Oh, well, just running through, but fair <coughs> attempt. Pretty handy effort as well. Oh, what's he looking for? He pointed his foot out to the wing ones there. Is he going to try and get sort of that wing blue one split to get the blue one, get it moving sideways? It yeah. This looks like if he gets the bowl flush, it should be going out anyway. Yeah, they must have a few seconds. Probably oh, four. One, two, three, four. Well, look at it. Look at it. Yeah, probably afford to lose one of their own. Mm, Jack. Jesse's on the spot. Oh, he's just under it. Oh, he go. Oh, he oh, flicked it. What a Might result. have made three there. Yeah, looks like a solid three. Three, yep. yep. What a result. If you buried the jack, they would have had two anyway, so the one extra is always good when you get a flick and a rattle. And Yeah. That's always enjoyable. Nice when that happened. Uh, Jess Ann says, evening, gentlemen. I'm not sure who you're referring to. You use that term very loosely, but thank you. Well, Good on you, Jess. Must be me for sure. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Adam Dunleavy says, g'day, lads. Having a good day? Yeah, it's all very good over here, mate. Very good day. Can't see any of the boards up there, eh? No, nah, once someone comes in, we'll get an update from the other other rinks as we're starting to get in. Oh, you're all right. The minor semi final is uh, 16, Algester, Burley Heads 13 on 15 ends. Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. 
That's better. They had it down this corner before. We couldn't see anything. They've moved this big scoreboard. Genius. One of Jesse's looser first bowls he's played all game, and it's still yeah. not too bad. He uh, looks like he's cr corrected yeah. too badly, too. You keep getting down. Uh, oh, that's too a good pretty good he's set. Kept his weight, but he... Two good bowls. You know, no skipper would be uh, too unhappy with that. Can't keep your own touches all day. Just missing the one away a little bit, Clinton. Hasn't quite found it yet. Alrighty, here comes Andrew Todd. Looks like a pretty good track here. Yeah, he's looking pretty good here. What's his speed like now? Is he getting right down Very on it? Very good yeah, looking ball. Yeah, well played. Yep. He's putting more, putting more baz under the pressure, Toddy. He's playing some good shots, and especially with Jesse, Jesse playing well, he's stepping on the mat down a fair bit, so... This is his first time playing this hand coming this way, so it's not a bad starter for him. Down the muzzy, there are sets here you can have a look at and purchase. As Barry's put in a couple of good ones there, a couple of bowls on the head for his team. And, uh, Andrew Todd's bowls is staying there for now, but there's a bit of room there. I imagine we'll see that change yet. Brendan Egan, I'd love to get on top of this now. Out there. He's tracking all right. It's a good way to should get back to beat Barry. Yep. yep. Played it well. Hello. Uh, great shot. Well played. What a shot. So Gaz has got a couple of bowls to draw to now. Uh, he's out oh, there. Out a little bit too much. Too much. Weight wasn't too bad. Had to give it a chance, just missing the line. Oh, look Look what the cat's just dragged in. Oh, don't finally look, got the A-team in, mate. Don't look now, everyone. The doge is back. <laughs> well, I couldn't stop that big check writing for you, mate, so... Oh, yeah, I'm still waiting for that, buddy, too. It hasn't cleared yet. <laughs> Nor will it. <laughs> waiting for the... The Fox Sports helicopter to uh, deliver the cash, actually. Uh, nice weight again. Might see a bit of weight here. Settling into a ripper here, mate. Yeah, the heads have been pretty good and a little bit windy out there and can be a bit tricky, but had some good heads. Jesse's been probably the worst end he's had this game, but Jesse's been burning a little bit and setting the boys up, so... Yeah, fair effort from Gaz. How is it out there, mate? Is it getting a bit chilly yet or not? Still all right? No, I, I just actually went and checked into the hotel just to well, hello. Get, get a jacket and have a look what it was like. Spa, massage. <laughs> yeah, it was a b b <laughs> level 55, mate. It was all right. Yeah. Oh, yep. Uh, just an update on the scores up top. Um, L just a 16, Burley... 13 on 15 that will be in the top grade and the Pirates 24 and the Hawks 21 on 24 so close games across the board yeah. there should be a good one Bruno going for a bit of cover probably back and best to get the big stick out here I reckon just met the young kids that we um, donated the bowls to from Musgrove a couple of bright young yeah. talents coming through I've seen a couple out there earlier watching the morning game. It's good to everyone get get involved and get around it and come down for a look. Uh, he's in a good good track here, Besta. Hold a little bit longer. Oh. Yeah, probably still one down. Mm.
Okay, I was a room service mate back at the motel. Mate, 50 f 55th floor was a... Uh, <laughs> Took a while to get up there? No, I've never stayed there if that was that high. No, it was a good view over the um, spit, mate, at Southport. Not the spit, but like the um, canals there. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Very nice little place. Kind of glad that the shark sold out now. Like. <laughs> it's all right. It's, oh, it's coming into the head well here. Oh, burner. Inside that. Oh, gobble. Shot. Fat gobble. Great shot. Yeah, could have made three out of that nearly. Depends on that front bowl. Brendan's and Barry's there. I'm not sure which one's closer, but I don't think Best is going to be short. Get ready for a slips catch. Mm. Doesn't look like the best angle if he hits Barry's bowl. He probably needs to get Brendan's bowl to get Even a result. If, yeah, if, yeah. well, if, if it kills... Just shoot off if he gets that. He gets Barry's bowl out. He's in oh, a little yeah. bit of trouble. Oh. That's fine. Oh, oh, wow. No, that's no good. I knocked Jesse's bowl back as well. Be interesting to see who's got the rest of them back there. Two. Two to pine, yep. I think. How you been travelling, mate? You on all right? Yeah, good, mate. It's nice to be down, unfortunately, watching instead of playing, but <laughs> I'm sure you know that feeling too. It's a I know it much too rather well. be out there and yep. getting amongst it, but yeah, apart from that, things have been good. I mean, good atmosphere. Barbecue's good. Pies in the warmer are good. Yeah. I Can't really complain. That's a nice calamari before and some chicken tenders. Or yeah, they put on a good, good spread for the bowlers after the, a couple of potato the first scallops. game. Yeah. Are you a potato scallop or potato cake guy? I'm a potato scallop yeah, guy, 100%. Yeah. Me too. And I have this discussion at work on <laughs> a regular basis with chefs. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where the potato cake come from, but... If we want to order a potato scallop at work, we put in a scallop and search for it. We don't put a cake in and order a scallop, so that's where I say the end, the <laughs> argument ends. <laughs> a bad start from Bales. It's 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 like that. Uh, it's nearly as bad as does tomato sauce live in the fridge or the pantry. It's one of those conversations yeah. with a potato scallop and a potato cake. Why do you lie on that? Oh, shot. potato sauce in the fridge, mate. Great shot, Jesse. Yes. He has been playing well. Oh, my um, potato, tomato sauce in the cupboard until it's open and then yeah, it goes in the fridge. Exactly. So in the cupboard until it's open and then uh, into the fridge. The only thing you can leave in the cupboard after it's open is peanut butter because it's, it's not the nicest thing to spread when it's cold, but... Be looking to tuck that jack around. He's kept it tight. Not Maybe a little too tight. Not a bad arc. Good weight. Uh, he's oh, good, nice. Played it with good weight. Got a good result. Something similar from Barry, I would imagine. Shot, got a little inside yeah, sure. flick. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, my partner in crime's back, so I've got to get him back in. I was quite enjoying talking to Brownie, but now yeah. I'm stuck with Bakes again. Yeah, bugger yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. I want you to snap you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you'll enjoy going back to the hotel, I tell you. Pretty flash. Yeah, level 55, it's not bad down oh. there. Far away. No, about seven minutes. Oh, beautiful. What a shot. You go home and look after the kids for me, mate. I'll get Jana down if that's all right. <laughs> all right, so someone's put the jack in the ditch, have they? Sat right on top of it. Uh, Barry actually, like, the jack was sitting where that um, toucher was up there on the, the maroon bowl. Yeah. And uh, Barry came through and touched it where his bowl's hitting and then... Um, put the jack next to it. Then they just... 
sunk it then, the mm. Pine Boys. Toddy. I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, Toddy. Looks like a hard one to beat. I don't know if you can see their own bowl to get that moving sideways towards it, possibly, but Team Pine have an answer for everything at the moment. Yeah. Alrighty, what are they going to do here? Maybe just try and get another close close second first, maybe, or can you see that? Oh, that's Brennan bowling. Sorry, that was Gary on the map. My apologies. Yeah, Brennan just be trying to draw a shot. Oh, yeah. Definitely beat the front one to start with. You get Simon, just getting your message now, mate. Just pulling up the Premier League page and um, stage here, by the way, mate. Uh, yes, we do have the bowls down here at the moment. $500 a set for a set of Hensel Lights. XGs. Jason Cootie's watching. Hello, Jace. Hope you're doing well down there in sunny Melbourne. Alright, let me just have a little hurry a little bit, I think. Alrighty, what else? Well, it's not a third shot. Fair, um... Fair weight there. We shouldn't get her out there. He needs to get another one in here because Berner's uh, got a free look at that. Well, it is a toucher. Ah, touche. It's a toucher. So if he kept her angle ahead before, if um, you can get it sideways moving towards that. I think Besser just wants that one to beat the Blues because if he gets the other edge and kicks it out, well, there's going to be a few downs. So last bowl of Gary's if it's third shot. Which from here it looks like it might not be, but it should be the other ones. It should be fourth shot, I think. So you might have a look for that. Yeah, Barry's just pointing it out. Angle is there for it. Well, he gets down around Jesse's bowl at the front there. Teasy's up and that something here. A little touch on the jack. Where's that going? Not to his, I don't Sideways. think. Sideways. All right, Burn will have to be out near that bowl, I think. He's played it pretty well. He has. If he stays up, he might block that oh, touch of going too. Oh, no, oh, shot. Burner. Oh, Burner is burning. Nice. I was outside before when he played that monster the last in drawing the shot. Sarah Rogers is watching too. Yes, she said she loves the uh, the camera angle on the ditch. They do a great job, the Gold Coast live stream. Oh, he's got it too. And <laughs> Ryan's too. bowl was just in there in time because that touch was heading straight for it then. <laughs> Didn't see how he got to it, but he got to it. He gave uh, Ryan a little wave on the way past. I might have been a bit lucky, but... <laughs> We're going to have to go out and have a word with Gary, I think. Eep's down and right smack bang in the middle of the rink. <laughs> Dean watching from South Africa. Yeah. yeah welcome, Dean. So we have got a bit of streaming competition today. We've got obviously New South Wales State events and the Victorian Open in, Vic in Victoria. So yeah, well, they should all be finished by now. So, But yeah, and if it's not, then you'd... Kind of just don't want to give him an option to turn it over and watch it, mate. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> someone commented it before, mm -hmm. mate. So there you go. Oh really? That boat's passed. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the same page. That's why that's not doing amazing. Well, it's the first time for everything. Usually not on the same page. No, no. <laughs> I'm just going to. Um, Alright, it's a burn. It's kicked out into a decent lead here, 10-2. Uh, Aaron T's up 12-4, and Huey's just behind Omar. Oh, just flicks the front. Go for that toucher again. So that'll be one to, one to Pine Rivers. They extend their lead. 
And uh, she's pretty tight overall with the Bulls just ahead 22-20. And in the other game, 18-19, I think. Burley have jumped a couple of shots. It's starting a bit darker in that corner, a bit harder to see. But, um, and, yeah, once we get someone come back in here and visit us, we might get them to go for a walk to get the uh, scores on the other, other rings. But in the... We have in the under other final, the major semi-final, we've got Tweed taking on Burley. Uh, Burley, and it looks to be Tweed heads 26, Burley 23, so not much in that one either. A few of the Tweed boys will probably be hanging around to cheer them on. After their exciting finish. Here comes Clinton Bate. He's on a good track here. Burner's clapping him out. Or Harry Bryan is. Up and at him. Yeah, yeah. Good starter. Very good. Jay Glabitz, the new bowls coordinator of the Broadbeach Bulls, saying, Go to the Bulls. Well done, buddy, on your appointment. It's great news. Great to hear. Great to see you back down on the Gold Coast. And after your long stint on the Sunny Coast, it's uh, good to have you back, buddy. So well done on that. You do a great job. Jesse's just pushed this one past again, but. As we all know, they never hurt. Nope. Dave Stockholm says he's bowled out. He's watched a lot. I'm with you, mate. I don't know how you watch as much as you do. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, cutie. But uh, <laughs> it wasn't wasn't any thanks to me, mate. They did it all off their own merit. Uh, Great bunch of guys, and that was a huge win for them. Yeah, no, I was... Would have been a uh, pretty um, pretty enjoyable night there celebrating that one, I'd imagine. They know how to have a good time down in Melbourne. Yeah, mate, family's Especially going port. good. And, uh, yeah, I've been talking to Troy a bit about... Uh, he's been keeping me up to date with all that stuff, mate. Andrew Todd's played a good one. Got a second shot there. Forces Barry down on his backhand. He's pushed that one out a little bit. He's got good weight. He's not going to come back to a bad area here. Yeah, he's happy here. He's played this pretty well. Down a great bit speed. Very great nice. speed. Great shot. Have you and Rosie going good, Jace? He's going to turn him over the sand now. Play a little bit through. Yeah, you got a chance to arrive down there. Now, I guess that Jack moving down the line, he's got a couple of good Jesse's waiting there. But he looked like he pushed that out out of hand. Mm. Won't be getting back with any sort of weight with that one. But if he's got good speed, he's still going to be in the mix here. Slide through that hole. Yep. Yeah, it's not all bad. Yep. Set in the trap. I wonder if Barry will just try and change this a little bit. Maybe even a bit tighter to that maroon one. He or. is. Yeah. Just doesn't want the shot bowl onto the jack, I don't think. But gets it past the jack, he's oh, all right. He's the commentator's curse. Yeah, well, oh, I called it. Right. I called it. That was... Pretty much I hate being right nearly sometimes. Nearly a perfect result here. Yeah. yeah, that makes the head a lot better for him. Yeah. So now, yeah, whether Brendan sticks with that arriving on the back end or just trying to draw this on his forehand. I mean, he played a couple of good ones on that hand before. and I reckon he's got a maybe a foot, not quite a foot room. So it should be this little level. They normally back themselves in. Yeah, interesting to see what he does here. Alrighty. Nice there, Joshy. Yeah, he's just going to come down the forehand. Don't mind his arc. Yeah, he's. I don't know if he's he needs to hold a little, I think. You get a, got a little I think he's got a there. bendier set, too. And well, yeah, yeah wanting to block off that area down there in front of the camera. There's a thousand people walking past. Speed was great. Alrighty, so just going back, yeah, a bit of trouble back there. There's our two young fellows who donated a set yeah, of the Yeah, I was just having a chat bowls. to them actually, yeah. mate. Yeah, good, good boys, mate. They before I came in here. Took a photo, so we'll, um, we'll put that up later and would have loved an opportunity to get a little interview with them, but it's been pretty busy around here, just didn't quite have the time, so might try and do something down the club with them during yeah, the week. and walking across. Happy days. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just overcorrected a bit here. Speed was good again. Oh, another one pass, but yeah, just trying to draw the shot here. Fall off the wing one, yeah. Falling off the maroon's probably pretty good. I'd take that shot away. 
Oh, I don't mind. Um, I don't mind Burner playing down that hand on just onto that maroon with a foot over. Yeah. yeah. Any problem is if he gets just sort of a thin bowl and getting jack, which don't know. The bowls he's got, I like him just drawing the shot there, but it could be close. Like, so the camera can be a bit deceiving sometimes. From here, it looks like a nice two, if not three, but could only be one. Could be yeah. I think he's saying that one doesn't count, but. Yeah, I like that. Just drawing the shot. Beat Barry's wing one four. Your shot. Get back to the blues. A bonus to tuck in a little bit. Yeah, we haven't quite got a score on the uh, Helensville reserve grade. Sorry, Ray. We um haven't got anyone doing a, a score run for us just yet. So as soon as we get someone in, we'll um. Ah, uh, sign for the post at the cameras. Yeah, yeah, it might not hurt if we've got one. Alright, so Ryan Brian, just, just Brian's done enough networking, mate. Get him on the job. Crack, <laughs> the, crack the whip, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robbie's not feeling the best today. Poor bugger, he struggled through it. No chance of that happening, Cootie. Not with our players out at the moment. Oh, is he trying to get to this maroon one? I think he might be. Half down, the down front, he's got it. What, what a, a shot. shot. Makes the four, and they need that now. burner has got one left, but he's going to take his time here and and uh, take his, yeah, opened up a little bit for him to get that jack through that hole now. That dark blue bowl just behind the jack. If he can get the jack just missing that on his forehand, he could make a good two or three. Possibly more if he gets a good bounce. Uh, Elizabeth Poole asking for the reserve grade tweed. It's 27-23 we last check, and now it's 27-28 uh, to Burley. On 32 ends. On 32 ends, so one shot in it, very close. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to have some good games all across the board here. Got one one rink all square in, th in this game, and uh, the other two have won a run rink each. Has got a bit of a lead, so <coughs> so uh, who's going to tighten up? Algester is sixteen, Burley twenty three on twenty one. The Hawks are thirty pine thirty one on thirty three. In that's the Reggie's game. Oh, well, Burner's killed it. Great shot. I think Gary Lawson's got one back there, which should be shot. Yep, there it is. And, uh, yeah, so we wonder. So he's cut three out there. Ryan's got a good opportunity here to make this one count. Big shot there from Bernard. Yeah, he's playing well. But 21 ends is a long game, so. Yeah, best is calling, uh, Lester's is calling it for Bester. Yeah. And for the rest of Settle. Oh, I snap. Settle. He needs to stop. He's got to be close, you'd think. Yep. Yeah, yep. So two to the Bulls. Double their score. And they did this in the first game too. They started pretty slow, best of rink, but... Yeah, come home with a wet sail from all reports. So he was out here yesterday rolling up on those rinks over there. So he's, he's pretty keen for this weekend. A little bit of last two rah for his beloved Bulls. So he'd like to go out with a win. What makes me think they're going to be really hard to beat. But if anyone can do it, it's our minor premiers. They've got a great side, a very well balanced side. So as the sun's continuing to go down here, and these lights seem to be going well. A dispute on length here. Might get the umpire back out. Lose a measure. <laughs> 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 Rowan, it would not be good. Nah, I don't like the dots on either side. I, I think it rewards, you know, it just lets you sort of rake narrow and heavy, and if you miss somewhere down near the boundary peg, it rewards it. I like the dot where it is because you sort of have to draw to that spot to get to that spot. Like not very often, unless the jack's a long way up or, or sorry, a long way back and you just full draw, but 
yeah, I don't think it takes away that just being tight and heavy and just covering something back to the somewhere near the boundary peg. Yeah, yes. Yeah, if there's any sort of slight mistake, they'll they won't miss a beat. They'll let us know. So it's like having a word document autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Spell checking. It's uh, that uh, too short. Peter's picked the jack up again the second time today. <laughs> All righty. Uh, not, not, no one's doing anything too extravagant with the length just yet. Sort of that uh, medium, medium length end. No one sort of get stretched it right out or... I know Brovich probably tried to shorten it up a fair bit that time, but... It's a little bit longer, this one. Well, the lights are working a treat, mate. Yeah, was, mate, it's been a nerve-wracking couple of days because we've had weather pretty much like this, so we were just afraid if it starts um, if it starts raining, it could have really interrupted stuff, and our, yeah, our GM has been stressing a fair bit over it. A few extra grey hairs in there from him, but um, no, the, the guy did a great job, got them all hooked up, and it's incredible watching them do it, really. And in reply, uh, Rowan says, if you're not tight and heavy, you can't get results anyway. Arks Kane Nelson. So <laughs> I'm not sure Kane would agree with you, mate. Beautiful draw baller. Oh, this is going to come home nice. Yeah. Shot, Jess. Well played, Jesse. What a shot. Yeah, you missed the start of the game. He was burning. Oh, yeah, no. no first Brownie filled me in, mate. Ends, yeah. Brownie filled me in. Absolutely burning. It's good to see our good mate Jesse back to our Hamilton days. One of Clinton's best ends, but we all have them. Just overcorrected a little bit. <coughs> and Jesse yeah. seems to be in a fair area again. He's a little tighter. Are you getting right on top of this, so just going to cross a little, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but. No, nah, it's still a great shot, but just probably makes it a little visually better for Barry down there. Gives him a couple of bowls to look to get to now or we'll trail that jack. But nice full draw down there on his backhand. He's got good weight, it's a good area. Yeah, he doesn't look too bad at all here. Just slope. Yeah, great got shot. Got back enough. Yep. <laughs> Go Wombat. <laughs> Go Wombat. Old Jowny, Dodge Old Downey, what a champion. Part of the Pelicans this year, him and his uh, other Tiger mate, Mickey Ashworth. Worth the weight and goal with the pair of them. It'll be interesting to see if Karina go again for a... Another crack getting into this event. The, uh, whether they have to play Hamilton or Hamilton get blessed with someone pulling out, we'll <laughs> see. But I don't think Karina are allowed to, mate. You only get two cracks in a row before you have to have a three years hiatus. <laughs> that sounds like, oh, well, we'd be happy with that because I'd probably come back here then. So, <laughs> well, he's looking like he's played another good one here, Barry. Hurry, he's riding it home. Hurry, oh. Oh, just a touch, but. Great, great track. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I thought they might change their hands here. A couple of chances through Jesse. Turn Jesse onto the jack. Get the jacks on the line. Sit the shot ball. Work off his own. There's sort of two feet in that area. He'd be pretty stiff not to get shot here. But he looks tight. I think he might have just tried to re ride that uh, drift a bit too much. Cut on the Barry's ball. Nah, she's gonna miss everything. Good. Um, decent way for what he wanted down there. Gave it a chance. I tell you what. Looking at um. What I how I got the indication of the lighting is just the glare of Berners' um, pins there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was wearing those compression <laughs> things on your legs, you know, the white one with those spams or yeah. spegs. SP arms. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Gary Lawson here. Let's see, just trying to get a touch on Barry. Die around him. I don't think he'd be wanting to be tight here, but he just... Uh, it looked tight out of the hand, but it's getting out there. Yeah, it looks all right now. He's hurrying. I don't know if he's going to get... Oh, yeah, he's holding to him. Yeah. Nice and solid. Well played. What a shot. It's pretty and, much where he yeah, rock back too. So didn't, if he fell the other way, then he would have sat right next to the jack, so... Old Kane Nelson doesn't miss a beat. I haven't heard from him all day, but... Uh, now he's piped up, Roel yeah. Wilson, exactly right. Gateway, <laughs> rakeway. 
We've got a life membership at Bunnings. Goes and, goes and buys a rake every week. <laughs> uh, great, great player. He's certainly like, a, for those that watched the show the other day, he's future of the game, and I think we're going to see plenty of him in the coming years. So Maybe if he's not doing any tomorrow, he might pop down and say g'day to us. Here comes Brendan Wilson. He needs to hurry that line a he little. Right here. Yeah, he's oh, going. He's, gonna yeah, he's just going to go. Got, his balls are swinging. Oh, he held enough for Toddy. That's a sh enough for shot. Did enough. Wasn't overly convincing, but he did enough. Yeah. Oh, so the geez, he's continuing to build his lead. This 18 shots already he scored to Chris Roseanne's six. Huey's got on top of Omar, 10-9. Could be the deciding rink at the end of the night. Well, best to you make a better, better door than a window, mate. You've got something there, but didn't look like it's changed the head much. Got his own, just turned his own out of the way. So opens it up a bit. Good opportunity here for Brendan Wilson just to draw that toucher, toucher around the corner on his forehand. Really just tidy the head up and... Oh. Lawson. Oh, Lawson. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> oh, he's moved. <laughs> All righty. Great weight there from Brendan, but he's, he's pinched a couple on that forehand. He's not quite trusting the turn. He, imagine he, I think he's using a wide... I'm not sure what bowls he's using, but I think he's got a wider set because he's getting plenty of bend on that tighter hands, but he's just underplaying that wider hand a little bit, so... Uh, here comes Besta. Uh, he's got a good line. He wants a little bit of weight for that line. Oh, he's not going to hold. Oh, there hold. he goes. He's just trying to draw the shot there, but he... Speed was good. Yeah, the he gave, him, gave ball. his bowl a chance, yeah. Good cider. And ideally, he's just missing the green, sitting the shot bowl and flopping back onto the jacket. and make a nice three there, but... Finishing a good spot there too, actually, so... Not bad, it probably is the number one back on the dot, so there'll be two on the dot for him, but if by chance they lose their two bowls, you will only be one worse off. We might see him have a crack here. We'll see what this one does. This looks tight for Berner's line. Another one that's using the wider bowls and paying dividends on the tighter hand, but not quite finding that line on that wide hand, but both got a bowl to come. That's only his first. His weight was good, so he'll be able to correct on that nicely. Let's see here. He's played this one firmer. He's wider, though. He's pushed that too wide. Here's a little slice here, isn't it? Hmm. Yep, let's draw the shot here, I think. A little touch on the jacks of bonus. Absolutely. Get it down the line. I don't it has to go very far. Maybe a foot. Could make a nice three here and just uh, continue to kick away a little bit and things just not quite uh, coming off for Brody. Just sort of a little bit scratchy so far, but still a long way to go. It's tight too, I think. Yeah, it is tight, yep. Yeah, I don't think he was doing, trying too hard for that one. Yeah, I think they'll um, take the one there and run. Another another score, so as long as they're keeping it ticking, they'll be happy. 12-4. And in the other minor semi-final, Burley Heads have uh, gotten the lead 27-21 over Al Jester. So the uh, the loser of that game is out, and the winner will play the loser of this game tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Anderson. Don't miss a beat, do you, buddy? Great end there from the skippers. <laughs> and Jesse Turnbull, another good starter. No, not really. Alrighty. A uh, little tight there. Just a little slice on the jack. But Jesse Turnbull just playing much the same bowl. He is trying to draw the shot. He looks close if he's running. Just 
the hurry. Let's kind of die fraction, but that's in the game. That's a great shot. Yeah, it's pretty fair. Yeah. He's been playing pretty it's good so over far. Mix. The old mix. No border patrol. Hope they're not turning up. Ah, the Greek god. There he is, Chairman Mitilinios. <laughs> Mitilinios. All right, so clearly have a little change here. Swinging over to this forehand, the tighter side. He's giving himself a chance too. Is he? He is trying to run this in. He is raking at that. Yeah, that was always wide out of the hand for his line. He does get a fair bit, um, a fair bit of hold. Josh Beatty asks if he can get some baker's dozen. Can we get some baker's dozen? Um, well, you go down to the local bottle shop, mate. They might give you a baker's dozen. <laughs> Sarah Roger agrees with us. Lead for Pine Rivers on fire. Young Jesse. Here we go. Here's Barry. He's, uh, I wonder if he's going to have a run too. No. I think Rachel's have been up here now. Rachel Roger, Sarah's sister. Oh, yep. Up in Queensland somewhere. Yeah, gonna get, yeah, get down on that one. That's a good start. Good shot. Flops out for that'll be second, but good start of there. Not, took a nice line and gave the bowl a chance. The one and only geek, eh? <laughs> Uh, great shot there, Andrew Todd. Ripper. Well played. He goes good, Toddy. He does. Just steady, isn't he? Yeah. Just always there or thereabouts it. No, not all about flash or anything. Oh, look at look, looking out the window and Chris Rosanne's looks like he's lining up next door. He's playing a bit of weight there. I wonder what's going on. Barry's not a mile away, but just not quite on it, are they, Brody there? They're not far away, but they're just not quite um not quite getting on it. When they do, one of the uh, Pirates is playing a monster. Well, they're getting beaten up front. Yeah, they've yeah. certainly been under the pump, haven't Clinton's they? Clinton's just struggling to find it at the moment, and Jesse's been all over it, so it's making it hard for the next guy. Barry's been playing okay last few ends. He's been putting balls in the area, but... Yeah, um, so, yeah so that's what I sort of mean. Like they're, getting, they're not far away, but they're just not quite, not quite getting onto it, not quite getting um, holding, holding the shots. Yeah, fair, Sarah. Bundy is a bit slow paced. <laughs> get it to come to Brizzy, uh, this mate. Is gonna, uh, this is going to struggle to get back, I think. Hurry around that. Just a bit unlucky there. Inside it around, around it was good, good, but he just flopped out to a bit of a, a bit of a nuss of position, but you never know. That was a funny game. They could end up shot yet. Yeah, and also, he's just uh, overcooked this one a bit. Yeah, like I said, that's not quite happening for him. We played him at uh, Inogra in the last double header of the regular season. My God, he was unreal on the carpet out there. Yes. Yep, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he looks close here. He looks pretty fair. How far? Ooh. Yep. This makes it a better two, I think. Just Can't tighten up really and afford to lose. Yeah, I reckon he will. Seven. I reckon he will. I reckon he will what? I reckon he'll play wait till and get their own. No, he's well, just drawing up to it with confidence here. He's on a good line if he's got good weight. This is yeah. He's just a quick day. Just overplaying it a fraction. He's got his own. We <sighs> called it. Yeah, like, well, I said he'll play that weight. <laughs> Might have made it three. <laughs> Definitely three. I reckon. There on the dot, so Gary Lawson has got the dot, but I can't see, can't reckon that Ryan will be able to see too much, but other than just flush to the jack, but might see him have a crack because if he does, if he does get, if he doesn't get the jack and he's a bit tight to Jesse's bowl, he's a chance of getting Jesse's out to cut it back to two again. But we'll see what this one does first. He draws another shot; it might make up his mind for him, but. Yeah, the boys like it. He looks pretty good here. Going to die nicely. Yeah, yeah what a right. great shot. That's pretty fair. He's playing well. He stops that forehand. The 
sort of arriving and squeezing it through that hole to Barry. So I think we might see the Master Blaster in action here. Well, I can tell you what's going through his head right now. <laughs> but uh, Rain shortly, says David Baker. Uh, you're in the rain. You're miles away. <laughs> Uh, we've been a little couple of little scattered showers, but I don't think it'll be too bad today. Alrighty, what's he got? Yeah, I think he's talking to himself and in the hitting this. Yep. Looks tight, but. Oh, he got his. Oh, did he get every single one of his own balls? No. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Blue one, Jack High to the left there. That would be, um, that's Brendan's first bowl, so it could be five now. Gary Lawson's maybe six, but Andrew Todd's wing one out there could count as, looks, it's hard to tell with this camera sometimes. Mm. Play much the same, so I'm gonna put one in there or I'm gonna mm. make you hit it. You might get one down the back here. Just in case. No, why would you bother? No. Pile them in there. Well, I suppose you probably could be three down at the back there, so going from six up to three down it could have hurt, but yep, don't stand there, Gary. Oh he's no, he's changed his changed his shot. It's a big bowl here, he's on a good line. Oh, Gary's got the message. He's close here. He Bester. is close. Ryan Bester. What a great Bester. shot. Second or third, you'd think. He might have got it. No, one down, one. I think. Maybe two. Second shot. So it was six or seven then, I think. Oh, yeah. One for down. Sure. So. For Four sure. Huge shots. And sometimes a bowl like that can really swing things now. So he's played a monster like that. He's going to be hoping it fires his boys up front because they're, they're getting towered up at the moment. Not much in it overall, though. Broadbeach is still ahead overall, 31-28. Well, they did everything right there, Pirates. Yeah, well, it took some... Uh, you know, it shows his class to have the drive with the first and then then um, back himself to draw it with his last one and he's uh, drawn second shot. Like, the rest of us probably just would have... Took our medicine, had a crack, missed by a foot, and dropped seven. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesse Turnbull, stop it, mate! Just stop it. On heat, he is burning. Love when he's um. Alrighty, so hopefully our viewers on YouTube are, are getting the fee. We're just having a few technical difficulties in our new office, and I think the gurus might have got us back here, but Jesse Turnbull needs to hurry that line, but he's not going to be far away. He's playing well. He's not too many bowls outside that foot or two. 
A bit of a change. I wonder if we're going to see a bit of a change up in Ryan's rink at all. Just uh, struggling a little bit up front. Um, the Pirates getting the better of them. So we might see a little swap perhaps with uh, Barry and Clinton. As, uh, Jesse's just getting the better of him at the moment. It's really setting the tone for the game. But he's played two good ones this end. He's holding shot and he's got something back near the dots. So, oh, I know he's running a bit too far in the pit. And, uh, comes Andrew Todd. He's been playing this forearm pretty well. Tell you what. Tell you what. What a great shot that is. This has got an answer for everything at the moment, Pine. Oh, the moment they look like building ahead, it's all over it. Yeah, we've got the great back. Barry looks to be on a fair line here. He's first one he sort of poked out there a little bit, so he's played this well, Barry. Great shot. Oh, he's stiff. Still down, but he's yeah, given him a lot more room. Just, um, yeah, made sure he was up there and just overplayed it a fraction, but certainly better where it was. Really a chance now for his second one to jump on it, but Andrew Todd will be trying to beat him to it here. Something right smack bang on top of it. Yeah, he looks... Yeah, speed now. This needs to get down. Yep. No. Oh, stays so up. Just stays on the lips. So that'll be the shot bolts. They're holding two, but there's a good 18 inches room there. 15 inches maybe, but... Barry's on the trot. He's... Yeah, he's waving his arms. I think he's a mile short. Yep, just pulling up. Yeah, that where the jack is at bowls probably about four, probably about five or six feet. So, just give you an idea where the jack is. It's pretty much on line. I think we're back. I think we are back, baby. So we missed a couple of ends, but still eight ends on each ring to go, I believe. If there's Scores are all about right. All good. So Aaron Tees is still kicking away. 23-8. Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff is up over here. Oh, sorry. I must have had that the other way, wrong way around before. So Sheriff is up 15-11. And uh, Best is down 4-17. So this rink on the live stream can, can peg a few shots back. It'll um it'll pay big <laughs> big dividends for the uh, the overall. But... That's assuming the other rings keep going because obviously up against it is next door. I think Poppy or Breeny is just drawing the shot. Nugget slowly strolls on down in his uh, very nonchalant attitude, which is always one of his best traits. And Gary Lawson's drawn. That should be the boss. Yep, finger goes up. There's a little bit of room there, though. The way Brendan's been drawing. Oh, that, that's better. Yeah, there we go. Now you can hear yourself. Yeah. It's like Groat's been talking to with a microphone yeah. off. So. Yeah. I've, I've said some very good things, though, <laughs> for those who missed it. Absolute insight. I actually can't believe we didn't yes. get that recorded. Absolutely. This needs to stop. Yeah, and he's done it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's that little bit of finish down there, the ditch. I think it's... Barry's indicating the measure, but plenty of room. I'd expect... Um, yeah, I'd expect it to be shot. So I think Gary Lawson, just correct here. His weight was good enough for shot if he corrects his line. or He's looking to be fairish area. How much release has he got in him now? It looks like he's running a bit, though. Still so he wants to get he, to his own. He wants to get a little slice. Well, there that does, could yep. be the little swing that Brody are looking for. Yep. They've played us some good shots for no results, so... But yeah. Berner has got a nice opportunity here to. Well, he's got a nice. He's yeah, got a nice look there, hasn't he? He's got a nice full. Got draw, a bowl just or trail, just short yeah. of Jack working off that. Drag the Jack yeah, through a little. Only real danger is just overplaying it a fraction and picking that hole and getting Brendan's back bowl. Um, that'll take the count back to two, but you'd have to be pretty stiff for that one. Yeah. So I mean, you just draw up. Oh, he's playing well, a little bit firmer. He's going look a bit firmer. At, looking for he the has Jack. Got the, he has got the dot. So if, if he picks the Jack through. He is close. Oh, he's oh, got it. He's got their back oh. bowl with it, but that should be at least two. 
Should be at least two, you'd think. Yeah, they got uh, Toucher in the ditch and uh, the, the other edge, maroon yeah. bowl up the front there. Oh, and there's uh, going to be three. Another you know, bowl of toddies are back on the lip, so it could be three shots there. Um, so we've got another one in there. Now it's Clinton this time in front of the camera. Staring off in with the fairies. Yeah, they didn't want to watch the bowl come down. From what I uh, hear out on the on the traps, they've been been pretty good at standing in front of the camera there tonight. Yeah. Maybe they don't. I don't. Maybe they can't realise that we can see the scoreboard anyway, yeah. even if they stand in front of it. Yeah, young young Groat's been texting me quite regularly that uh, he's not happy about the bloke standing in front of the rink. <laughs> <laughs> he's asked me to do something about it, but that's not my job. Yep. All right, I think you just got the message there, Ben. It's just going to die. What a shot. He is on fire. Jack in the ditch, then draw the lip. Yeah, that's a yep, he's pumped. That's quality, he's isn't pumped. it? Yeah, he's, he's always up and at him for this game. And now we've got a spectator getting in on the action. Thanks, yeah. Mate. Oh, he's, he's got to go home and report to Mum what's going on. So. <laughs> oh, and uh, the Dodgers just walked back in. He... Uh, He's going to relieve Bakes here for a moment. But, uh, so, that last Bakes, uh, that last... Uh, <laughs> last Bakes? Last Bakes. That last bowl there has, has at least got a measure out. Um, so we've taken one out and... This will be uh, this will be close from here. Bowl probably bowl in the ditch probably close enough uh, by the time you get up and over the lip. Yeah, in by mile. Oh, so the one on the banks in, you'd think the one in the ditch is in. But it's a closely held secret, apparently. Nobody knows. No. Nobody knows. <laughs> Don't know. No, it was a definite. I think. I think they definitely had a two. It's a two. two. There we go. So this. Uh, this rink of uh, burners is really the one that's keeping the uh, the flame Sport, alive right now, aren't they? So absolutely. they just need just need one of the other two rinks to tighten up a little, and they'll be right back in this. And Jesse's uh, started off another great bowl. I, I would have I would have changed by now. Just uh, 14 ends in. Clinton's just not finding a lead. Those played a good one here. I probably don't know. He's short. Um, I would probably be moving Barry to. Lead after well, probably 11 ends, really. Been one of Australia's best leads. Well, it's just not working for him at the moment. Yeah. And a 19-4. That's, that's the point. You, particularly when it's not uh, it's not hurt you on the main board so far, it's a it's a real chance to make a change, make a movement, and then, then you move the big board. Because Jesse is burning, and they just need... I think Barry just might ruffle his feathers a little bit, a couple of good ones, and yep. maybe a bit of chirpiness from... Um, Barry over to Jesse's side might just change it. So um, that's what I'd be doing. Though it's a great shot there from yeah. Bales, just as we say that. So. Well, he, he, he played one good on the last end as well. Yeah. So, so yeah. you know, sometimes those things cloud you. you you're, you're thinking of a change, and then somebody plays a good shot. And well, uh, he just but the thing is, he's played a good shot there. Yeah. But the jack's out in the open, so that's okay because it was sitting in a. You know, yeah. Jesse played two pretty bunch of rippers right on it. And, That's it. And um, but he's pl he's probably played a, a a lead shot that he didn't, you know, that you don't necessarily want from your lead hunting one. You, you want no, you right. want you yeah. want the Jesse bowls, don't you? You know, if well, and that's because he's constantly just pulling up a little bit short. Yeah. He's first. He just needs to make sure he's reaching with his first and yeah. correct a little bit better. But so yeah, credit to him. He's done the adjustment. Yeah. But yeah, you know, to the point of. Oh, I just feel like that making that, a change. Yeah, it's just not that a bad rotation. Idea. I think Barry going to lead, just dotting a couple, and then. Giving Clinton the freedom to sort of be up. Yes. Great shot here from Baz. 
Um, yeah, and there you go. Lead ball. Bang. Just to change it up a little bit, just until... Well, you can't change it back, but just no. give Clinton that freedom to, to be up yeah. um, at two. Well, you know if you did make the change, you don't you don't lose anything. Yeah, Toddy just it. needs to hold on a little bit longer here. Yeah, he's close. He's good here. Toddy. And drop it now. Toddy, what a shot. Yeah, there we go. Nice ball. Great shot. And this is where they're just getting a little bit pumped here from um, up front, just killing um, the bulls at the moment. Yeah. And as we often say around bowls, you know, your back end can be as strong as you like. If you haven't got the support of your, your front end, then the pressure comes on and and uh, as good a bowler as anybody is, Too good, they, can't, they can't keep uh, getting out of trouble all day. Two rippers. Two good bowls from Barry. All righty. Alrighty, I'm back again. A bit of in and out uh, today, this evening. We're running around like Edless Shook. The club is absolutely getting smashed in at the bar. The kitchen's busy. They had a birthday party turn up. We, oh, how many people are here watching, do you reckon? 200? Yeah, well, there'd be 2,000 if we could fit them, but. Yeah. <laughs> we need a car park like St. John's for that. <laughs> yeah. A uh, little bit of effort there. Another one in the area. Gary can afford to play a little bit overs here just to get down to that maroon. Mm. Yeah, turn Barry. Uh, slice jack down the line's not too bad either. He's tight, I think. Uh, needs to have a fair bit of weight on it to hold that line. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't want to turn the uh, last he's ball. He's cut this. Eek. Uh, it's just all those little uh, things. But it probably makes it a little better, if anything, though. It probably takes that hole away and gives them a... Makes their mind up a little bit more on what shot to play. Mm, I love how January should be in there, mate. But um, he was well, the fact is that he was tight and uh, he cut the ball in for shot when they were holding maybe a solid one. Yeah, but always a silver lining. <laughs> uh, it is tightening up a little bit for a 43-38 on the overall. So Pine coming back into this. This well, rink is holding them. This rink. Hold them in it. And this is return the probably fade, returning the fade. Well, that's... Now Charlie's getting the maroon one, but it just opens up now just to trail the jack, or if well, he lands on it, he might still make at least one, if not two. Nothing wrong with that line now if you're playing sort of weight to the ditch. Yeah, he's got a better area. I don't mind this. Depends how much he I think he's just added a bit too yeah. much. He's added a bit too much there, so... Yeah, all right, so down again. The Bulls are having a hard time of it here. When they are holding, Burner is just burning. <laughs> We're just saying that, yeah, they're just up front. It's just surprised we haven't made they haven't made the change, and because uh, hmm. Jesse is, I think Jesse's getting getting hold of Clinton here. But uh, you could make Michael Smith ask how many bourbons, buddy. I'm only on my second pal. Settle down. <laughs> Busy day here today. But, uh, yes, here we go. Is that a fair area for his line? He's got good weight. He should get back. But got a little bit on it, but it's not that's a bad like thing. Here. Yeah, that's, uh, it's handy. that's Brendan. It puts him in a good spot. Now, I just, yeah, what sort of weight's he going to play? I think you just pick a comfortable weight trying to get to that bowl of berries just to at least make one shot. I think mm. it should get, the blue should go to on to Andrew Todd's. Um, f so he wouldn't make more than a one, but tight out of the hand. Yeah. Needs a bit of drift. Uh, trying to hold. <laughs> trying to hard. hold. He is holding. What Gee a shot. Whiz. Gee whiz. Did enough. Made the one. think Pine are going to have a few seconds there, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if Berner will change too much from his last one, really. Just out and up, trying to sit the ball. If he does get a bit of jack, he could get it to the two blueies. Like Pine has scored on the far rink as well. They rolled the jack and played first. I'm not sure what they got, but here comes Burner. He looks pretty close. 
He looks pretty close. He's got him. Oh, he's got the jack with it, but still made at least one, if not two. That bowl of best is hung around. It's that could be second or third shot, but it could be three as well. That blue one just uh just behind the jack to the right gives us a slightly better view, but yeah, so our own one I think shot. Yeah, it could be relatively close all round there that James Templeton's on the march. He's played two good ones. Yeah, it looks like Best is lining up here. Might just be going Jack. Might be able to make a couple at the back here. Oh, he's got people walking past. There's the rink next door. A few shadows moving across the rink. Here we go. Fire one. He didn't look like he lost a bit of balance in his delivery there. Just... So is that uh oh Bonner hasn't got any left. I was gonna say that bowl of besters could be worth a plenty, but he <laughs> got none left to sit him, so that's definitely one. So I thought it the next one to be close. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think you see fifteen sixteen on Aaron Houston's rink, so he must have come back a bit. Two, two. Jeez. Can't stop the bleed, can they, this Broad Beach rink? Remembering, though, whoever loses this game isn't out. They will play the winner of the minor semi final, which is Burley and Algis. And Burley are starting to get away with a little bit here. 42 to 30 after 37 ends. Three. Three. Ouch. Will be four. Ouch. What was it? They're getting pumped. Yeah, it's starting to get ugly now. And this, this, this They're going to change. they got to change. Got to change. I think he just rotated his fingers around Someone. there, so something's happening. Well, Gary Lawson going back to lead. Is he, got his, is he holding a bowl yeah, back yeah, there? It looks like it. Might be putting uh, Barry to three. Oh, yeah. All right, this is interesting. So Gary Lawson back to lead, which we all know how good a draw bowler he is. He... I just need someone that can start to match Jesse. Um, Jesse's been burning, so. Uh, so Another good start. Right, here we go, the first end of the change. Let's see what it changes. So Gary is trailed to Jack. He's got it straight to Jesse Turnbull's bowl. <laughs> and the horrors keep continuing, but... <laughs> uh, I think it bounced off a little bit. It's not all no, bad. No, it's, you can see it right there. It's sitting right beside it. So if oh, yep, sorry. Looking at the window now. There he is, but um, still that looks a little better than what it has been. If Jesse just runs a fraction, it's still not a bad bowl. That's two. Looks like Teasy might be winding up next door. And if that ring starts to come back, Pine could really catch him and start to pass him here. Oh, just found the oh, Great effort. Yeah, just a couple of bowls past the jack, though, so it changes the head a little bit. It's good spit. They got two bowls back. That's what they're, they're, they're lacking. Yeah, you know, bowls were in the head but past the jack, so nice opportunity <laughs> to draw a toucher down there. Probably because he's half cutter every time he plays a new stylesy. <laughs> yeah. You fill him up too much. Too many cruises. Only on Sundays. Cruiser Sundays. Alrighty. Clinton has been moved to two. So we are going to see Barry at three. This looked to be a fair area for Clinton, but he needs to hold. He's just for you. Well, that's not all bad. Give him a little bit more room. Took away the target a fraction, but 
the opportunities are still there. So Aaron Houston has pegged a few back. He's 16-15 now. We're starting to get to the money ends. Not much in it at all here. Andrew Todd slides through to a great home and counts. So Clint just needs a big one here. Front toucher. Just draw the shot. Give your mate something to work with. Just be there. He's wider. Just got to be there, mate. How much release is he going to get here? He's been turning late. Here it comes. They're not enough. Mm, they just sliding past. No. It's okay. Falls over. He might touch that other blue. Oh. Looks like Huey might be holding a couple over there. In for an exciting finish here, I think. Well, it's turned around. Pine up by seven. Big board. Bang. Yes, so Chris Rosanne's picked a few back, so he's only behind by ten now. Huey's behind by one. And uh, this TV rink up by 18. Proving to be the distant difference at this stage. They did have some changes in their rinks before the finals. I think Barry was with Omar for most most of the season, wasn't he? So there's there a there from few um, changes. But yes, fair effort here from Brendan. He played that as pretty well just to be out and up. Put them in a good spot. More balls in the head. The news just keeps getting worse for the Bulls. Clint Bailey again. Right in front of the camera. Omar's on the trot. Usually when he's doing that, he's close. He needs yeah. to hurry from what he can see. He's just going to pull up. Yeah, that, just that bit of the shine will be coming off the green now. to be losing that few feet. Not good. Someone's nipped him. Thank you. <laughs> Robbie doesn't miss a beat. And this looks tight. As he doesn't want to he's, uh, he's well under everything, he's all right. Safety first, stays he's up. gonna stay up there. No, nah. plonks into the pit. Chance here for Barry to really get take control of this game now. Start to play a good few good shots and turn a few good heads for uh, That's a turn. For Brian getting down on it. No, sliding past as well, just, just not quite happening for him. Not happening. But long way to go. There's only one scoreboard that matters. And they're only seven behind, so a couple of good ends will be good for their team here. And might just stir the other rings up to keep going on their merry way as well. Uh El just to caught a couple up, twenty five of uh, sorry, thirty five to Burley's forty five on forty three. They're in the minor semi-final, so the winner of this will play the loser of this game. Which the minor premiers are really stamping their authority on at this stage, so it's going to be an exciting finish. Or are they just going to run away with it? Here, here we go, he's going to go to Jack. Did I see the hand waving around there? Yes, he's looking, he looked good out of the hand, that one. It looked good out of the hand, that one. Holding. Oh, he's done something. It went out of bounds. He's on the dot. Got one. So Barry's bowl is pretty much smack bang on the dot. Slightly behind it. So if the bowl is on the, in fact, on the dot, you have to put it as close as you can to the dot. For those that are unsure of any ruling there. Um, looks to be just a one, maybe. Could possibly be two, but I think Jesse's bowl is second. But, uh, what's Bernie going to be looking at here? I don't think he's going to be doing anything too silly. But he has got um, Toddy just to right a screen there, which would be fourth shot if he does happen to pluck his own out clean. It would only be one worse off. He is looking for it. He's playing well. Oh, my God. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Got the two bowls with the kill. Three. Back on the dot. He Four. is just burning. He'd be loving this. Absolutely loving it against his good mate. 
Don't know what Barry's doing. <laughs> he's <either. just> <laughs> <laughs> making a little. <laughs> Well, he's, if he goes out there and tries to stick his key in there, I'm going to crash tackle him. <laughs> no, he's just making, sometimes he can get a little bit uneven ground, so just flattening it out. Alrighty, what's best? He's got to be looking for that Jack Shawley, otherwise oh, he's out there. If he lost a bit of weight, he'll turn, but he looked like he's getting through that front pine bowl. No Jack, no, nah, this is another three. I think he's going to be three to Pine Rivers. As they extend their lead, and they've already made their change, Broad Beach. So, decided as it is now, we'll be staying that for the rest of the game. Uh, Christine White asks how the Burley Dragon Reserves went today. Uh, they, they won. They won, and they're playing at the moment. It looks like they're up 59-47. As it flips over, so could be it looks like it's going to be at least sixty something, or if not just sixty. But they're up by about uh, thirteen or so after f after fifty seven end. So it's all still a fair way to go. Still lots of bowls left, but you certainly want to be uh, wouldn't mind being in their position at the moment. As with the Pirates, they've extended their lead to ten now, so starting to look comfortable. Mm. Is there another twist in this one? <laughs> no, he twisties over there. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's sliding past, but somewhere near the dot. So Jesse just needs a foot or so. He's playing very well, so it wouldn't surprise me if he just dives around it here and draws a good one. He's got a good area. What's his run like? Just needs to hurry a little with a clear run. He's good here. Oh, well, gave it a turn. He's next best. Well played. He's all over that. Great shot, Jesse. Playing well. Alrighty, what's Gary got in reply here? Oh, it looks tight. Mr. Hurry. Mr. Hurry. Uh, a bit of licorice at the moment. And all sorts. Yeah, it's an odd, odd call putting Gary back to... So I just would just flick the front two around. Uh, yeah, I tend to agree with you there, but... Just put a bit of Barry, just getting a little bit chirpy into Jesse's ear. Just to try and change something. Doesn't mind the chirp, Baz. Good for a chirp. Usually does it pretty well, yeah, too. Yeah, he does. Toddy goes making sure he was up there, but I just overplayed a little. Need a big one here from Clinton. Just need to draw a shot, but oh, yep, yeah, nice... Sticking with that backhand, it is a kind of hand. That forehand can be a bit tricky. Tight, unless you've got great weight, then you'll bend. It's a fair area, I think, Clinto. Looks all right. Got to be up, though. Got to be up. Got to be up. Yeah, well, it's certainly making <laughs> it's a lot okay. fatter. It's a good, decent second. Fattens the head up. Something similar with his next one, with just that extra foot or two. Be, uh... Happy days for them. Start to try and get this scoreboard ticking over in favour of them. Because they are leaking shots. Not too many times just look at uh, having Snelly and uh, Best around your rink and your 16 ends and you're only on four. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that ever. I thought he's tightened this one up, but he might get away with this one. Oh, oh he's giving the shot away, but. Yeah, but they've got two or three decent seconds there, so. Clinton, I think that green ball will be about a foot short. So Clinton needs to really draw a good shot here. He chance to try and kickstart an end for him. And one good ender, you know, you get a three or a four or something, could really kick him into gear. And if anyone can make up this deficit, it's this bull side. They can put a number of shots you in uh, very quick succession. Jamie Anderson, appreciating some of my dad jokes. Coming thick and fast. Good on you, buddy. Big Jimmy. <laughs> Going to be a very uncomfortable few ends for Berno with Bester in his back pocket. <laughs> Will be tough trying to deliver his bowls. <laughs> I'm sure he's uh, enjoying this at the moment, Berno. His bowls are certainly reflecting that. He's absolutely burning. He's knowing he's got his good mate under the pump. 
He would be loving this at the moment. Well, he sort of got away with that one there, Brendan. Finished in a good spot. Overplayed it a little, which is easy to do. That you know, so that shine's come off the green. So. Is that a five there for the next door to TZ there? Or? Ooh, you're going to have a bit of number. Don't know. Certainly could be used. Barry just slides past a fair effort. They put his hand up. I don't know. It was to say, yep, I heard you to put it back to Matt back, or was that a five to call it? Don't know. <laughs> I was looking for some, we had some bit of electrical equipment in here before and I needed some batteries, so I was hunting around, hunting around, and the only thing I could find was this big tub full of dead batteries, so I thought, bugger, I'll just give them away free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> well, people encouraging the dad jokes, uh, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robbie's shaking his head, he's not happy. That to kick me off. Yeah, uh, very good. We had a cop knock on the door the other day and said, do you know your dog's been chasing a bloke on a bike? Bike? I said, I didn't even know he could ride a bike. That's unreal. That's <laughs> pretty special. <laughs> well, the bowls is a bit disheartening for the Brawl Beach crew at the moment, so I'm just trying to lighten the nah. mood for them. Is it working? Yeah, it's... Because um, they are in some I don't know. rubble here. I st 15 ends left. I, I'll um, I'll get back into this one. I just need to win a couple of ends on this yeah. particular rink. Like I said, they um, well, they must have got a number because they're back within six now. Broad Beach 47. So yeah, so Teezy's picked up. Teezy's a picked three, up a three. Sure for one. I saw that motorbike cop pull over that that um, tradie, and the copper said to him. Um, I've been waiting for you. And the trader goes, I got here as fast as I could, officer. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Deja with the old police, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we caught this suspect the other day and we didn't know what, we'd, what to do, so we just bashed him. It's not a joke, this is what we just did, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, no, we're not American. No, we don't do that, mate. <laughs> Everything's recorded these days. Yeah, that's right. You couldn't get away with it. It's not King's Cross back in the 80s. Grew no. <laughs> uh, a fair weight there from uh, Ryan. He has got a chance to draw a little touch of there to make a couple, but obviously the danger. He doesn't want to be given any shots away at this stage. He's struggling to score, so the last thing he wants to do is try a little bit too hard and, um, yeah, turn that green one in for shot. Chloe Morrison says, I'm sure you can do better than that. Oofed. Uh, no, I can. Yes, yeah, for this time of day. <laughs> yeah. Live on, live yeah. we can't. Kids are still tuning in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Bernard's been playing well. Has not missed a beat. He's looking like he's got, he's got good weight. He's got a good line for his bowl. He will come no, hard, he's but he's, no, he's just going. Mm. Flops. Uh, well, that's... Yeah, Barry's stretching the fingers, trying to make a two out of that. He's trying to get himself in the count. wonder if he likes it, but either way, that's not going to change Best's shot. He just needs to throw her out there, draw a counter, score, and then yeah. um, Halves his figure own. out what to do with this uh, with this mat to try and string a few ends together. Halves his own is a chance. All right, he's coming down. He's looking all right. He's got good weight. He's doing half. He he's just right. going a bit, isn't he? Mm. Downage. Down, Periscope. Everybody get down. All righty, so we've got some uh, some score updates. El Jester and Burley in the top grade. Uh, El Jester 35, Burley 45. Colin Litfin's all square with Fergo 18. Pitsy's 10 down to Dale 15. And Nick is down 17 to Benny Twist. Uh, in the Reggies, Helen's Vale 57, Pirate 66. Uh, rookies 14 all with Adam Liddell. Gene Aiton's always oh, copping it a little bit too. 6 to 23 against Justin Knight. Alan Cumbie 15 against Chippy 16. And Luke Turner is turning it on 22 against Corey Fuller 13. So, a couple of good matchups there. Uh, let's see if I can squeeze across and see what. Uh, 
Just one. Still Burley and Tweed are doing. Huey moves his big head. <laughs> it is an impressive noggin, old Hugh Ball. <laughs> uh, there we go. 49-61. Um, Tweed are on top, so Burley are up 61-49 after 59. So some good games there, but a few of them starting to pull away. What's uh, Gary done? What have they done with the mat? I was not sure what short end, but they brought the mat up a little bit. Jack on the tee, so we're on the theory that can maybe hit themselves out of a bit of, bit of trouble. Not a bad theory when you've got the best driver in the game there, mate. Yes, this is true. I don't think he's hit one yet, though, so... Well, he hasn't really been driving, driving. He's been playing sort of runners. Mm, yeah, true. He has been. That's probably half the issue. He's sort of playing a little bit of everything. He hasn't really been able to find any real rhythm uh, in his game. Christine, the Dragons are playing Tweed Heads. All righty. So Gary's just overcorrected a little, but in the mix of it. In the mix, that can uh, certainly be a counter later in the end. Trono just uh, jumped on top of the jack in the pit on Sheriff's rink there for Ooh. the Pirates. Thought we would have heard him through the windows and the <laughs> earphones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a bit unlucky there, Jesse. bit unlucky. He's absolutely burnt this game and didn't end up too bad. He's not a bowl in the head. He's one down, sure, but a couple of good bowls in the head. He'd be enjoying himself out there. Oh, Clinos. Really needs to get Clint off his tight end. Get him on that wide side. He's just not enjoying it. <laughs> He's not playing well tonight, poor old Clinos. struggling a bit. Yeah, a bit of struggle street. Which we certainly have all been there, yeah. but that's never fun. No. But yeah, you just oh, got to. Just goes a little cutie walking past there. Back to your basics. Oh, he's just sliding through. He's done enough for shot, though. That was going to make Jesse's bowl shot now. So it'll be one to pine, but there's plenty of room. Clean a big chance here to bounce back. Just nail it, mate. Jump on top of it. Get your bit of confidence back. The boys are certainly going to need it. If you're going to turn this game around, Clint can play a big part in it. Such a great play when he's going. Mm -hmm. but yeah, well, that's going to be the boss. Fortunately, he's going to uh, lift the hole. Yeah. That's always handy. It's good. Oh, the hole can be handy. Any shots are shot at the moment for the ball, so... Teezy's on a runner. He's mm, going he's Jack. Jack. He's got he's it. got it. Oh, and his ball's going out. Is it? Yep. Yes, it is. Just clipped the back one and went out with it, but... Toddy's gone sailing into the pit that time. Tease his hat off. He's about to blow up. Pressure is mounting on the balls. Do you think knowing that, that uh, they have that second bite, you know, that if they lose tonight, it's not no. anything that plays on their mind? No, I think this game is like a grand final. Yeah. I think you really want to win this one to get in, just to have you straight in. Yep. Um... No, I don't if think... They, if they do happen to lose this one mm. and play tomorrow morning and win, that's going to give them three games over the weekend as compared to Pine River's one. So will that come back to to help um, come the grand final? Because they'll be on this green again tomorrow. Uh, well, if you're Pine River's, you, you want whoever's playing Broadbridge to win. Like, you don't want to see Broadbridge playing in the final if you're Pine because yeah. they are just specialists when it comes to that time. And um, yeah, So... I would be backing whoever they're playing <laughs> if I was them. So it looks pretty good here to find that hole. Yeah, Not too much, Jack. Yeah, okay. fall over. Well played. All right. Can we yeah. get a bit of momentum going? Mm, they need it. They won the last ten. They've got four ends oh. left. If they can win all four of these, those ends, they're going to give their team a fighting chance. Absolutely. There's um, still only six in it on the big board. Oh, I don't know. TZ... Oh, he got stiff. Might, yeah, he might have just dropped uh, dropped a shot. Just one, was it? I don't know. Cause he's don't know, yeah. But it's, it can be a bit hard to tell. But uh, I think, I thought I saw Nugget put a finger up as if they were still holding one, but it obviously just gave Rosie a lot of room to draw it. So, uh, 
Brendan didn't like it. He's turned his back on it and drawn the shot. So that's how good he's going. Doesn't even have to watch him. Knows they're close. <laughs> Vince Calabrese is watching from Leopardstown and Sydney. Go on, you, Vince. Ronda Holiday says, go the Pirates. They are going pretty good. Uh, oh, Barry's hunting it down. He looks quick. He does. He doesn't looks want to quick. slice. He's got to get this nice. Yeah, he played he's it. got it good. He's put it in the pit and sat right next to it. Here we go. Here come the Bulls. Gary Lawson's got a bowl back there and could very well have made three then. He, I think he has. Definitely. Could that be the turnaround they need? Uh, Rowan Wilson says, would you boys ever bring back the sub? What, the foot long or the... <laughs> <laughs> I got an Uber Eats last night, and the old mate, when he dropped my food off, he said, oh, I got some Subway in my car that it was a wrong order. Do you want it? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it to the dog. <laughs> oh, rock star. Loves a steak sub. Yes, he probably ate it in two bites too. And, uh, he was like a duck, mate. Didn't even a chew huge, it. A <laughs> huge dog for those that have never seen it. Yeah, he's an 80-kilo machine, that thing. <laughs> Travis, uh, yeah. Travis watching. Yeah, Baz is, Baz is actually out of the rink. Baz is, he's been doing a solid Probably for, in the, in yeah, the area the most out of anyone. Best, yeah. So, there's a couple of big bowls here yeah, from he's Ryan. Good opportunity here. He's, he needs to settle. He needs to get to something because he's quick. Oh, he's going to get them both out oh, of the count. No. Oh, That just sort of sums up his night, doesn't it? It's just not happening. But I guess in all fairness, he was a bit quick there, but just trying to make sure he was up. So he could have cut that back to two, unless that front one, and he's moved the jacket. Oh, controversy. But uh, could be, could still be two. I think both of Barry's bowls are shots. Oh, he's just picked the jack up in the ditch there. So eight shots to Broad Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else has made that call. He's having a giggle. I'll tell you, if he doesn't do much with this one... Oh, now he's picking it up. He's, oh, no, that's, I'm looking at the delayed screen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, another pirate was going to pick it up. Best has got a... Um, Best might have a nice little look at this maroon bowl because he's got... It's a pe well, I think that's a toucher. Oh, touche. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Berners seriously undercut this one. Settle down. Rowan, I've been around for bloody 15 years, mate. I remember those days when you could sub. Um, yeah, it's it's an interesting question, and but it's not certainly not up to us individually, mate. We don't make the rules off our own back. Uh, these sorts of things are voted in at AGMs by the clubs, so... Outside of a few smaller details we, we take true. care of, but the main... main I definitely don't stand rules. at the head of the table and make the rules and then hold a big baseball bat going, this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, not, not at all. It's overcorrected. <laughs> a little bit of overs and unders for our mate, our, our pelican body. Yeah, he's not having the best nights at the moment. I'll <sighs> I see. Well, it's probably a Brian. first end he's crossed over up the last two ends for a while, yeah. so... Probably go, didn't know what Throwing to do him out of whack a little bit. Now, Guri's not feeling the best today. He's done so well to get through it. I think all he wants to do is curl up into a ball and go to sleep, probably. And here comes Bernie. He's looking for that toucher. He nearly got a bowl onto it, but I'm thinking two. Two, yeah. Excuse me. Could have been five. <coughs> yeah, well, certainly could have been, but I guess I'd be happy in the, at the end with the two. Try and block out what just happened and worry about these next few ends now. So I said they, they, they don't, they can't really afford to lose another end on this rank if they're gonna. Yeah, if they're gonna yeah. get the overall up. They need this rank to to peg some shots back there. Rowan said it would be interesting impact even when you could swap rinks. <laughs> yes, it would be. Would we be. should get the uh, merry-go-round and the carnival here too, Rowan. it's not a bad idea. Da, da, da. I don't mind those little things. Like well, that's what makes yeah. you know we we like to pride ourselves on being a bit unique. Mm. You know, our event in Premier League, and um, 
you know, the whole changing your rink is a big thing. And I think that's where it evolved from is subbing into actually just changing within your rink. Um, yeah, it would be interesting whether you get, you get someone from off the green to come onto the green or, yeah, you change within the rinks. But I... I don't know. I'm not, I, I like it the way it is. I think it. Um, I think it's good. But again, it's it's up to the clubs and votes and AGMs and all that stuff. So I actually had a uh, interesting conversation with Roger Stevenson yesterday. I, I made the suggestion that it'd be uh, be good to test the depth of all the clubs by swapping it around. So having Premier Grade four rinks and Reserve Grade three rinks. Just to um. You know, you give four extra players an opportunity to play in their top side and, yeah, just uh, if we're going to have a, a national Premier League final, I don't think we all need to be on board with the same amount of rinks and I don't think Victoria are ever going to change. In saying that, I probably New South Wales won't either, but... Um, How many would the New South Wales play? Three. Oh, it's just two against one there, mate. <laughs> yeah, good shot, Clino. Need a few of those ones, but he's, he has set it up... Uh, a little bit unlucky there, he just sort of tidied it, well, f fell out to make it a pretty nice shot here for for uh, Toddy, who has been playing well, but I have just fallen away the last couple of ends of Pirates. Let's see if they can maintain the edge. He's done it well, just as I was saying that they're off, of, they've lost the plot. Uh, updates on the other semi for obvious reasons. What's that obvious reasons, Clive? Oh, I'll, go, I'll send a <laughs> message, Clive. We'll see how we go. Uh, 58, Burley, 35, Algesta. So Burley starting to run, run away with it. Good shot there by Clint. I think he's made one. Two goodies there from Bales. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. A little chuckle amongst ourselves there. But uh, here comes Toddy. Looks like if he's carrying that. Oh, he looks way, right he's, he's going to cut down on the screen onto yeah, the jack. Straight he through is, the blue. Uh, Bomb. Probably made, made two. Couple, I think. Not bad from old Toodles. It's all right, Clive. You don't have to be sorry you asked, mate. That's, did you hear the score? I did call it out. Oh, you're sorry you are. No. I get you now. You're sorry because the score is not oh. overly <laughs> favourable. <laughs> We're a bit slow on the uptake sometimes, buddy. Yeah, no, I'll get, I'll get you an update of the score. I've just messaged someone out there to give us an update. Oh, Snelly needs to hold. Yeah, he's just pinched that one a little bit. Trying to get that jack in the ditch again. So, the problem is, yeah, stick to this backhand here. Just, um... It's only three shots now. Whoa, oh, why? Who's, who's scored a number here? Well, Teasy's up by 12. Sheriff up by 26, one. 26, 14, 18. 16. Nah, it should be. So that's wrong. 12 and 3 is 15. And they're 18 behind. Yeah, yeah. It's three shots. It shows you how important a couple of shots can, can be for a rink that's getting... Beaten comfortably. Huey's just played a monster. Drew on a back toucher. And so has Brendan. Boom. Boom. Pirates there. Yeah. Finishing strong here. Like I said, if there's a team that can chase them down, it's this Broadie squad, but... Here we go. Barry Lester. Backhand runner. Being a left-hander, it'll be his backhand. What's he got for us? Pushed wide. it wide. Way wide. Yeah. Maybe just a rip up the line on the back end there. and Yeah, at least he's playing that, that, that tougher side and he sort of was tight with his first with a little less weight and he's just added weight but pushed it a bit too wide and that's, that's why it's a tricky hand because it's so easy to do just to overplay that fraction and you just lose, lose a lot of your bend. Oh, Brindo looks right here. Is he going to stay? He might have set. just cooked it. He's got, he's got the flaps out. I don't think he has, though. Well, what's the Master Blaster got in store for us? He got another ugly head. We've got a bowl. Just, yeah, could we just shift that camera down a fraction there? That's tight. 
That's a tricky hand. Mm. Tricky hand. So it's well, only be two. It looks like he could get them both. Pirates, De Brennan's last bowl did stay up, so Pirates have got the dot. So that's why he's not quite going firm because he needs to bend to that inside half of the blue to get on both because if he gets it sort of outside, it's going to jam. Jam, yeah. Money for jam. Has the other semi paused? Uh, 58.35. So one team has paused. And it's the other the team, The other team kept going. And, and here comes some rain. You were right, Spotty Baker. Just an hour early, that was all. <laughs> <laughs> so Robbie's just updating that score now. Thank you for pointing that out, Hoops. That yeah, looks to be better. Here we go. Here we go. He's got the hands up. He likes it. He's got him. Oh, oh, what a shot. God, Here we two. go. It could be three. That could be three. Could be. What a shot. Well, it looks a little unlikely. So the, the dark blue ball is laying down. They mm. might have that little mm. belly sticking mm. out. But what a shot. But an opportunity here for Berno. He really drive this nail. And if he um, if he pots that jack on his forehand, he can make three. But even if he gets to the ball, makes the one. You know, any score for Pine is a big plus here. Getting down. We've got you know, three or four ends left on each rink. Back him in here. He's burning at the moment. Look at this. See up the line. He's going to cut. Oh, he's going oh, to go. cut. Right through. Oh. My day. Oh, oh balls no. a cruel game. Greg DeWeeja asks, any plans to move the venue if weather no good tomorrow? There are contingencies in place, Greg, but we will do everything in our power to make sure it's here because it costs us a lot of money to host it. But if it's pooling and it's <laughs> unplayable, then we may look at other options. But yes, we have got contingencies in place. Or is he just trying to put Kapalabar on for offer for everyone? Maybe so if it's no good there, you can come over the come over to the planetarium or what do they call it? Uh, Energex. Don't know, mate. Yeah, I'm waffling. <laughs> <laughs> Add sports commentary to the list of talents. Ah, oh, good on you, Adam. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Alrighty, Gary Lawson uh, is sliding through, but... It's been working. Yep. It's better it has been, than the alternative. And with that little bit of rain coming, he didn't want to drop short there, so... Mm. Grass is just this, picked up. Is this rain what Broadbeach needs? I mean, they're only it's three behind, it, but it Bro the pine just look on top. They do. They are playing better, especially on this on this rink. Oh, Jesse Turnbull, just cut it out already. Check your Making messenger, Bakesy. Oh, this looks dodgy. Check my messenger. Vardzi. Vardzi sent me some photo here. Oh, Vards. No, <laughs> it's not. It's joking. Probably a dog photo. Yeah. Uh, I need to disconnect the Wi Fi here. Just there we go. Yeah, oh, mate, we, I'm, I've sent the message out to try and get the Reggie's score. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yep, yeah, Vavards has sent me a photo. It's Jim Boomer, so it's coming this way, but... but we that should sh be able yeah. to get it done and dusted by then. We'll be right, mate. It's, with that sort of attitude, it's going to be terrible. So you need to really lift your game here and be positive vibes, mate. A little maybe on the weather. No, mate. It's positive vibes, mate. We spend an awful lot of money. We're not going to just... Up and Shower jump because a little bit of rain Shower and the players are uncomfortable. Well, this game the only way it's moving is the green is unplayable. Well, according to the COP, this game is already. Yep. But they'll get this game in. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about tomorrow? Yeah, that's, it's all light stuff yeah. anyway. So, you get so many negative Nancys out yeah, there. That's, that's the wind's up. Let's just appreciate Jesse Turnbull's drawn another shot. He's slide past, playing well for his team and. So is this bloke. It looks like he's um great shot. Helps. No Vards, you've lost the plot. You and a few too many um <laughs> Pepsi Maxes, mate. No, he's doing the old reverse. Reverse psychology. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Genius. So it was weird seeing Vards not in the uh, the Algis side actually this season for the the top side and I 
I think they, is um, that a typo on the minor score? I believe it is. I believe it is. I'm going to just yeah, duck it's out. Yeah, wrong way around, I think. Scores cause it's 30 Grote is not helping me Robbie. out at all. They're back to front, yeah. So it's 35-58 to Burley on 49 ends. I might just jump out and grab the scores. Yeah, you go and get the um, other old uh, man in the fort, mate. Oh, here we go. He's going on a hurry. That line is just going to die away. Yeah, good for an early call there, lads. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, mate. That's okay. Ruby's apologising for making one mistake. My goodness. No one ever says well done on all the things you do do, right? They only point out the things that are wrong, so I don't stress about that. All righty, Barry Lester might be getting a little result here. Yes, they certainly need that little little ounce of luck. He wasn't far away from what he was aiming for, he, but he was trying to get out to that wing green bowl. He just pushed it that fraction, but um, yeah, his weight was pretty fair, so he's ended up with another one. The Bulls have the bowl just behind too, so they should have the dot there from what I can see. Uh, but this man has been playing well, Brendan Silver Wilson. Uh, see what he does here, whether he's just going to try and draw that on his forehand or maybe just arrive on his backhand. A couple of chances there, so let's see what he favours here. Robbie Wilde's chasing one. Looks like he's played a good shot. Got his little tiptoe run going. He's got the weirdest run in lawn bowls, that man, Robbie Wilde. <laughs> so backhand it is. Just arrive down there, turn the shot bowl on the jack, work off the wing one to get to the back one. There's a couple of chances. Doesn't want it fat. No, oh, he's got one out. Got one out. Probably played uh probably played a little bit more weight than I was expecting, but just making sure he's up. I suppose if you hit what you're aiming for, it'd be it's hard to be too heavy. And Baz is stalking this one. I don't think he's getting back. He'll make a liar out of me. Yes, what a shot, Snelly. Great correction. Great got, shot, Snelly. Got the handy result with the first one and backed it up with a snorter. I'll just averse Burley score, please. Luke Jones, it is, I can tell you, it is not looking good for Al Jester. It's on the, yeah, it's on the, what's on the screen is correct. Yeah, oh yeah, it actually hasn't been updated. It's about 64 to 40. Um, no one's, oh, no one's, no one's the done board. the big board. Everyone getting yeah, ready to I shake just, hands, I, are they? I think I just went across and had a quick count up, and it's about 64-40 to Burley. Mm, getting ready. Yeah, I just don't know the ends. I'm sorry. Getting, getting ready to shake hands by the sound of it. And uh, Pine, uh, given Helen's a little bit of a touch up in the Reggie's one too, some um, 79 to. Okay. 40 something maybe <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to see I couldn't yeah. get across there everyone must bear with us we are sitting in an office we um, we rely on people coming to us with scores to be able to update them we yeah I do know early calls there Vards love it that rain looks like it's starting to not get heavy but just be just be consistent just enough to probably be a pain I hope my um, speaker over there is not getting too wet so might, we'll really get into might, final uh, as well. Might give you a bit of time by yourself and just go move this speaker, Dojo. Yeah. Be back in a second, mate. They will wedge. I think Burley will be. Well, they're definitely going to win this game against El Jester because they're touching up. Um, Brenda's played a pretty good bowl there. Unfortunately, that Barry Blessed the bowl is locked in. So that is the hand to play. But we are down to two shots on the big board. So Burley will play probably the world, the loser of this. So there are every chance. Give him another crack at it. I know for one thing, tomorrow morning, this whoever plays whoever against Burley is going to be an absolute ripper of a game. I do know that. Oh, be kind here. He's played that pretty well. Best star. Chances. It is raining, but it's not heavy. Oh, 
Brody have picked up a number on that other rank there. Could have been a three. Vernon needs to get down a little bit hard. He's close there. He's close. He's sliced the jack. And they are one down. But they do have two seconds. Besser can just try and draw and touch the jack. Oh, he wants to go through it that way. Interesting, interesting. Burner played a pretty good shot there, but Bakesy, and he's just sliced Ooh, Jack yes. across the face, and is still one down. Ooh, can he, he get the shot ball up and over? Well, he was so close to just getting that bowl clean and holding like no, a four. The best row, I mean, if he on his four in there, just get that shot shot ball up and over. You're gonna bring yeah, another two in, couple in. I think that's his. That's the idea. Sorry, I disappeared there. I got to get the speaker out the rain. Hadn't even noticed that I did stop playing, so I could fire the music back up too. And he looks close here. Needs to hurry. How's your run, Besta? Needs to hurry. Run, Pelican. Hurry. Oh, oh well, not. That's another third. At. Don't think Burner will be uh, yeah. doing anything too soon. Full no. draw. It's turning Jesse up for shot. Well, even if he just, just misses and takes a jack again. Yeah, That's just a draw shot. the shot. Yep. Yep. He's two down on the. On the yeah, spot, I'll go. So Raw Beach have what's that? Three thirds. Yeah, yeah. He won't, so be, too, he won't, he won't be, be too crazy. Nah, just be a nice full draw. I yeah, do know that shot. TZ picked up something in the middle rink there just before. Oh yeah, it's three I think. So this could be interesting times. Just, just push just that one out a bit. Just it wide. But one to Raw Beach. This <coughs> is game on. Here we go. We knew it was coming. <laughs> we knew someone could catch him. So 29. 30. Yeah, Robbie's got this awesome little scope. Actually, I bought myself a range finder the other day. You need one. I do. <laughs> oh, I got, your, I got how your far away? Tag. How far away that tree that right in front of me from these bushes? <laughs> I got your little $20,000 tag <laughs> yeah. yesterday too, basically. Yeah. You're pretty on, on the money there, mate. For $26,000, he's going to slice their first drive and... Uh, yeah, I, uh, I liked my bet. <laughs> Fair chance of Doge doing that I'd every time. I'd go the double up too and say you do your second one as well. But <laughs> I'll probably be there with you, but your left hand arm, right hand. So we don't play fairway. We don't play cart golf. You go to one set yeah. of bushes and I go to the other. Soldier, mate. Soldier. You're right, mate. You're right. It's a good start there from Gary. Jesse has been playing well. How's he? It's the first time anyone sort of challenged him, though, at, at that lead spot. So how's he going to respond? And he's... Not a bad start. A fair weight in the game. That's another good start, young fellow. Here we go, Gary. They need him to double up here. Just, just Ideally, just, yeah, it's just tuck that jack around the Charles corner behind region. his other one. But He's played it pretty well. Yeah, get to the green here. Well played, Gary Lawson. Yeah, too good. He's get back. Right back Sit to the line. Very nice. Yep. Here we go. Handy. First bit of pressure on the mix. See what he does here. Waiting for Gary to get down there. All right, it looks like the rain's dying a little out there. Yeah, it has. It has. Uh, it's tightened up. Oh, I think he's humming a little fraction little out there. It's a swoop. Oh, his best is going right Ooh. back. His weight wasn't too bad. Short, if anything, but he's telling Clinton, "You just, just, just put it back here. Be yep. up. Get it back early." Get it back early. Michael Brindle says nice and close, guys. That yeah, looks like oh, a, he's if he's got the weight he wants, he is in trouble. Yeah. What's he oh, doing? Oh, no. Clinton. What is that? He's short when he was asked to be back on the spot. Playing, you're playing his own. You reckon the best is calling silly shots here. Playing my own game. Trying to nail it, which would have been wonderful if he did. But <laughs> sort of that will just take that little bit more confidence away out of him and, and probably boost Pine Rivers, knowing oh, they can definitely afford Toddy, to arrive up there. He's in a good, good area here. He needs to run that line. I don't know if he's up enough. Now, do what I said, mate. I want yeah. him back here. <laughs> yeah, get up him. Get up him, right. It's 57 all. Oof. Been treated to some awesome games this, this today with his live stream matches. 
See if, if we get as much rain tonight as Vards has predicted. It could be a bit slower tomorrow, but Let's our green keepers will be working tirelessly. Does mm. that stay up, that, that bowl? I'm not sure. Robbie be all over that. Uh, need more weight. He looks closer, yeah. Yeah. He is close here this time. Got shot bowl. Yeah, got one out. It's happy. Gives him yeah. two or three seconds. Very average draw under a touch here. On the back end. Yeah, so Clint did stay up, so he left the dot back there. Yep. But that one bowl of uh, Andrew Todd's just changed the head there a lot. But that uh, first bowl of Clinton's could nearly be. Uh, look at them white legs. Look at them <laughs> white legs. Hey, Robbie's, uh, Robbie's going on a little leg, leg hunt here. <laughs> hey, Work those check, ankles, baby. Work out. those ankles. <laughs> so here comes Snelly. So uh, what's he playing for us? So just to draw up to his shot bowl, the look of it. They're standing in front of the again. camera again. Hopefully we don't have these guys on the live stream tomorrow. Um, might, have made a, might have snuck in for a couple there. Interesting shot, though. It was an interesting shot. Uh, we had just a chance to tuck that jack around the mm. corner there and, like, risk it. looked a bit of danger, really. Yeah, like he yeah. Trailed that jacket quite easy of locked on Andrew Todd or Jesse Turnbull's bowl there, but... I guess that's again that's why they're out here and we're in here, don't they? <laughs> know what they're doing. Yeah. Playing the playing whatever their confidence with, but this does give Brendan Wilson a nice chance here to can play a really good shot. Get a little bit of movement on that jacks, particularly down the line. It's um or oh, anything to the right of screen's a bonus, but he if he is a bit tight, he's got a chance to work off the shot bowl. He looks to be a fair sort of an area. Yeah, this is good. I'm liking this for him. This is good. Maybe, she maybe a touch of speed. He didn't want to flick that then. That was probably ended up being a good miss. I liked him out. I thought he was good yeah, for the jack just, then. Yeah, just that little bit of speed. Mm. Just overplayed it a fraction. So it looks like people are starting to move back inside. They're a little bit uh, unhappy with the rain. Or is their game finishing out there? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Burley and uh, Al Jester are shaking hands shortly. Oh, the legend Wayne Turley strolling past. They had a bit of a uh, rough morning, a rough finish to their game. That's bowls, that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, what's he going to play? He's going to look for them two bowls, maybe. Try and get them two pine bowls out of the head. The fraction tight, maybe bury the jack. I know Clint's got one back there as well, so forehand firm. He's a left hand of that, so the right side of the centre line, four and boom, two bowls of the jack. Don't like that shot on his backhand just because he doesn't want that bit of drift and getting to his own bowls. And if he is tight to his own bowls and he's four and he should be getting the jack off him, but he looks like he's, well, he's straight up the line here, so he might be on his backhand. He is. All right, just a f just look at he's just arriving again. Full draw. Mm. Oh. Okay, well, it's. Yeah, it's changed it. One shot. I, um, I, I was liking him for three before that. Yeah, it was. I mean, obviously it's hard to tell, but it's probably made Burner shot even better too. It sort of protected his two bowls a little bit. You can just really. They forward for Brendan to give himself a chance yeah. up there on that forehand. Look at that, just two metres over, metre yeah, over. Pluck him out, but in saying that, it will, um, that'll will that open up the two bowls for Bester just to mm. rip him out, but I wonder what that front green bowl is beating, if it's beating any of those other Broadbeach bowls, or if uh, Broadbeach have the next three after those two pine just behind the jack. What can he do? Yeah, he's been playing well, so he... Just push that one out of the hand. It looked wide out of the hand, but... His ball's turn. He does get a bit of bend there, but he's mm. not for that speed. And where's this Charlie going? And it makes it two. And at 57 all, that's a pretty precious two, especially when your rinks... Well, you've got the best back. Mm. What does he do? I think he's just got to try and draw a shot around the green. If he finishes wide, he's in a good spot. Mm. If he gets back to the green, it's a bonus.
Michael Brindle's telling us to get a bit excited. Well, getting excited as we can watching lawn bowls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's out there. He's, he's a bit there. of safety first here. He's, he's got the first bowl, so he's saying, Rightio, we were holding a couple. What are you going to do, Berno? And he's told us he's just going to get straight through that. I'm not going to muck around. Yeah, well, they're three down. Pretty on good the, target three there. The spot. Three Which on the spot, you reckon? I think they're three on the spot. Unless he's just trying to just arrive, like to turn it enough through the jack if he's underneath, it, sort of sit because he can get shot bowled into the blue and stay for shot if he's you know that six sort of feet. But we'll see how firm he plays. That he'll, he'll he'll pick a comfortable weight and just back himself in here. But yeah, two or three meters over, he can get a nice ricochet for two here. Like I don't. A nice little inside half. Oh, like this, like this. Oh, oh. bang. <laughs> Fair effort. Yeah, I like, oh, I like my call around the green. You don't want to try and draw it on your forehand and they touch the jack or be fatted up even more. He's here now. He's got the earpiece in. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to get down That's to that. That's what I went before. The uh. speaker was fine. I just wanted it out there in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I mean, he can draw a shot on his forehand, obviously, but I don't think he can draw it without making the head a bit better for Berno, and he's, he's really his only way of giving the shot away. And at this stage of the game, if he touched that jack and gave away a two, he, he would be filthy, so... Well, I think he's just on, like, a perfect draw away, and if he gets around that green ball... Even if he dies if under... If he dies it, under, it's really good. He could really finish good. in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the... He'd much rather play on Berno having to attack on his backhand because that opens up him getting his own bowls out. So anything either side of that front green with good weight, I think it's going to be a fair call. Or he might just, again, push it out wide, try and, try and say, righty oh, well, we're holding two. Well, I think you'll miss. Um, I'm just going to cover this with your chance of scoring. So mm. we're about to find out anyway. What do you got for us, Bester? Watching next door, seeing what's going on there. Breeny's head no, he's something must have happened there. He's Yes, please. So, yeah, he's, he's swung it out to the on the wide side. So, yeah, righty. So, he said, see, right here, he can, he can play the monster and draw a touch of a three. He away. can choose to attack a little bit more, and I don't think he can get his two bowls on his forehand unless he's getting something oh, on top, Oh, he was perhaps. just missed something he wasn't happy with, so I don't know what's going on over there. They're shaking hands. Someone get that score up. Oh, it looks like it might be two. Might be two to... Uh, Broadbeach definitely scored. I saw the fingers go up. It looked like two. Oh, burner. What's he got? What's he got? Oh, What's burner. he got? Burner. Burner. Oh. Oh, jibba, jibba, jibba. One. What a great effort. Cut it back. Oh. Was that the end of the game? Uh, oh. We thought I had them down for one more end, but obviously not. They're all shaking hands. Who wins? Who wins? Yep, no one's been updating your scoreboards. 
Might have to have a little chat to the managers Got tonight, boys. tomorrow morning not, about these scoreboards. Not playing pennant. Poor form today. And standing in front of the camera, might have to put, might have to get some fines out there, I reckon. <laughs> Come on, do 25 10. 25 10. 25 10. I think Omar picked up a two. two. So Huey's just come off. He said that uh, Pine are down by four. Four the diff. So and must Chris Rosanas and Tizzy playing last end. Last end. Well, I'm not sure if it's the last end or their second last end. No, it has to be the last end. It is the last way. end, yeah. Yep. So they need a four. Been a great game. Yeah. Great game, Bowls. Bowls. A come bit back. of bit of rain at the end. This would have made things pretty tricky. We'll close this so we don't get any interference. There we go. Just open the window up to ask Huey to score. <laughs> Jeff Ryan, come on, Bakes. No, we like to add mystery to it, Jeffrey. <laughs> if you want to know, uh, get down here, mate. Get well, on Burnett the obviously won that rink, um, but Broadbeach are up by four playing the last. We're in form there. Play, uh, the only, probably the only downside of this office is how far away it is from the scoreboards. It can be a bit tough, so we might need a might need to think of a plan for that for tomorrow and how we can um, maybe change it up a little bit so it's a bit easier for us to see the scoreboard. So we well, yeah, well, Sheriff must be 22-18 finished. Nuggets got a little cheeky grin, uh, like uh, he played a good one but didn't get a good result grin. So, Are we a chance of an extra in there? We, I tell you what, Tweed were chasing four. Yeah. Are, we gonna, are we going to see another dead heat holding three and have a dead heat? That would be unbelievable. That would be paying a million dollars on sports bet. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey, behave, mate. Nothing wrong with us Queensland slash Northern Territorians. Oh, <laughs> uh, because it's 15, the difference on the first two ranks, and Sheriff's finished. 22. Yeah, twenty two eighteen. Yep. That'll make it for the diff. That'll make it for the diff. And playing the last Huey field. didn't leave us on a bum steer. So this would be the last in we can't see if we can see get anything there. Yeah, there we go for camera angles. Rob, you got anything? Just Yeah, that's a bit rough. And now we've got some butt cheeks. Oh, Someone gonna tell them to move? They don't know. Nah, of course not. They'd have no idea. <coughs> Can't blame them, but. Well, we will. Can't we will? <laughs> it's just because we, we're a bit we're a bit ordinary like that. Uh, just in jest, mate. Just in jest. Yeah. I'm not having a dig at anyone. It's no. just a joke. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Inches bowl. Now Bringy's got any action. Yes. Sandy right. Smack bang in the middle of it, Bringy. Hmm. And he's rocking back and forth too, just so he <laughs> make sure he's blocking all angles. Is this sure. one bowl to come, is there? Not sure who's holding what here. One bowl to come. Each way. Trying to get one of these pine boys' attention so I can ask him to shuffle, but he was the only one I can see it. I don't want to ask him, he'll be cranky. This is the last bowl, so. 
Here we go. It's got some interest in it. Looks like a good line, but Nuggets walking off and that. So mm, we'll shake hands, boys. Indicate what it was. Might be a one to Broad Beach. I don't know who's that purple no, and white bowl. Yeah, that's, that's. I think it's two because that's Nugget. I'm Nugget would add third shot. <coughs> I'm th I'm, Caitlin was only rolling up the other day and she had the blue and white duos. And then I think those other ones. They might be. Well, maybe Roger Stevens. No, Roger's on the other rink. Someone indicate what's going on here. Jeez, if we're getting up these managers, have a word to your players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're Brad Lawson's. There you go. So Brad had second shot. So it would have been one to Pine Rivers, which makes it 59, 62, and Broadbeach have won their way through to the grand final. It's a great day for them. Great fight by Pine. We, they showed exactly why they're a contender this year. They, um, um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just got distracted by a comment there. Did Bester of Rink lose and end after they made the positive change? Position change. Position change. Oh. Uh, they might have lost one. Maybe one. Was it 24? 24 when they changed. Something? Yeah. yeah. So maybe one. But yeah, good pick up there, Sarah. So yeah. See, if they'd have done it at a wrinkle end 11, they might have won that game, Sarah, when we called <laughs> it. When well, we called it. get that earpiece in the best and nice and early tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, looks like the uh, reserve grade game might be finished up too. I think Burley have got the goods there. They were up quite comfortably before and uh, Pine have... Touched them. Touched up. Helen's all over there. So a match up tomorrow morning. And Elgesta are... Uh, Elgesta are Gornskis. Had a great congratulations to them on a wonderful season. Uh, so tomorrow on our live stream, we're going to see Burley taking on Pine Rivers. Yep. Uh, and in the reserve grade, we're going to see Burley as well. So they're going to fill up a green mm. uh, taking on Pine Rivers. So both of them going to be Burley and Pine. Both grades. Yep. Unreal. Yep. Shows the depth of these Showdown. two great clubs. And yeah. Um, North versus South. A bit of noise could come into play here, so we could have a, an amazing atmosphere. It is a, a earlier start tomorrow. We kicked off at 12 o'clock today, but it's a 9 o'clock start tomorrow. Uh, and with the GF somewhere around that 1 o'clock mark. Um, yeah, so it's uh, obviously depending on time. If they get through the game a bit quicker and through lunch and whatnot, the players want to kick off. We'll certainly encourage it because we all want to get home on Sunday afternoon. But uh, but no, it's going to be a great day of bowls tomorrow. We were certainly treated with a couple of great games today. My good mate Dojo, thank you very much for a good day, buddy. Uh, Robbie Allen, as always, does a wonderful job. Even though he felt absolutely horrible today, he stuck it out and looking forward to uh, curling up and getting some nice sleep tonight. But uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you from Club Musgrave. Thank you to all our volunteers that rocked up. Should be a uh, pretty quiet night here now. I'd imagine most of the players would take off. And, of course, one more thank you to our sponsors, the major sponsor, Lawn Bowls to you, uh, BCIB, Paradise Point Bowls Club, the Bowl Show host, Co Smith & Co Realty, the Bowl Show sponsor, and Club Musgrave, the finals weekend host. So... Thank you all very much. We are going to go have some dinner um, and talk a bit of nonsense with a few of our friends and <laughs> we shall see you all back here tomorrow morning. Yep, tomorrow morning, fresh up, 9 o'clock. Can't wait. Peace out. And is there anything you want to say to, to cap off, mate? Mate, I don't know. It's finals day tomorrow, so make sure you get back or, but jump back on. If you can't get down here, jump on the stream and uh, 9 o'clock start and we've got a 12 o'clock final, I think. 1 o'clock final. Uh, and then um, it's going to be a massive day, so uh, tune in tomorrow. It's going to be huge. Beautiful. Love your work.